going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Nerd Theory. Welcome. Hope you're all having a great start to your week so far. Josh, how you doing, man? I'm good. Um, I'm a little sore from just moving all this stuff, so I apologize to all the Nerd Theory viewers that this setup is just a green screen. We're going to, you know, get that sorted out. Um, it's okay, you just behind you. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dude, randomly, uh, a video played of Nerd Theory from a long time ago of ours played, and uh, I was just thinking of it as you played the intro because you said something and like you're like, like the first thing we talked about, you were like, I think we got to shave off a little bit of that intro, man. Like you were like <laughs> irritated by like how long the intro was. I don't know. It just made me think of no, it. It's, when just, I saw it's it. just the part that goes black. Let's roll it again. She's like it just it just goes it just stays black for so long. Stop noticing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so uh, if I, if I do it like this, hold up. Okay, but this I can do. It. I just got to yeah. cancel it every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little irritating. Oh, so yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So this week chat we got some cool stuff to talk about again and actually this is really cool yeah this could change the shape of star wars it could change the shape of uh post prequels and how we see force ghosts in general and how it ties into the original trilogy prequel trilogy and uh now beyond the sequels so i assume all of you have seen my video from a few days ago and if you haven't maybe you've read the excerpt on the star wars website about uh, Josh, do you want to bring that? Oh, I'll turn it on. Yeah, it's gonna be a little tricky for me with this. Okay, yeah. I'm on one so, monitor right now, but so chat. So th there was an excerpt on StarWars.com of the new book. Uh, was it Shadows of the Sith? Is that what it was called? Yeah, or, or something like something that. Like yeah, that. and it wasn't Return of the Shadows of the Sith or something. And it's essentially about Luke after Shadows episode six with Lando Calrissian and Luke. The excerpt was Luke meditating on Tython, which we saw in the Mandalorian season two, where Grogu went on the seeing stone. And then he was like teleported to Exegol. And from there, he's fighting these nine Snoke like beings with red lightsabers. And then he can't beat them. And out of the blue, literally, uh, Anakin comes in as a force ghost wielding his lightsaber. Yeah. And like just making those dudes fear for their lives or their non-existent lives. And then he takes Luke's hand and they both vanish. Right. Yeah. Everything goes white. Yeah. Like what the hell? Yeah. It's pretty crazy. I mean, first of all, what a good way to get us to want to read that book. Right. I mean, because yeah. it's, they do a lot of these like excerpt things and I can't remember the last time I read one where I was like, um, you know what I mean? And like really had to check mm -hmm. it out. And in fact, this book, I was kind of looking right past this book, man. Me too. Um, dude. yeah, I was like, okay, more sort of, you know, sequel cleanup stuff, you know, um, I'm just kind of reminded, uh, of, you know, the novelization for rise and what they did with that, because, you know, it, it was like what two, three months later they they delay the novel, and then the novel does all this weird stuff with the cloning stuff. You know, and you're like, what's going on here? Uh, felt like they were just trying to clean stuff up. Yep. This excerpt seems. I mean, first of all, it's beautifully written. It seems really intriguing, and yeah, man, it leaves off on such an incredible, like, what the heck, you know, kind of a moment. Um, yeah, it's it's really exciting. I mean, we got to know what happens next. You know what I mean? Like, and that's that's cool. I, I do, you know, a little bit of, you know, why didn't they do this in the movies? Of course, because right. this is something I think we all really wanted as fans. Um, you know, Anakin, Luke, them having a discussion together. You know, I like I had half a mind that that would be something you'd see in um, episode seven or episode yeah. eight. You know what I mean? Like. It, it kind of would make sense. I think like Ray kind of butts in with old Luke and he's literally talking to Anakin and they're like both like, you know, kind of shit talking the Jedi or something like that. All that kind of stuff seemed totally plausible, but never executed. And now I got to know, man, I got to know what happens next. Right. And I think this is something that, you know, a, not only is it a cool story to read about perhaps, but I mean, it changes Luke being dead. It changes that whole Luke, not being Luke, Luke being Jake in the sequels for me. 
Yeah. Because now, you know, if they make something episode 10 or 11 or 12, or they make some sequel story, a show or whatever, after episode nine, Luke can be more powerful than ever. He can be how he was meant to be, I believe, after Return of the Jedi. And we don't have to see him anymore as this, like, green titty milking dude. Yeah, 100%. Uh, and, you know, you, I watched your video on this. I thought it was really good. And, and you said something about um, how, like, there are sort of some flashes of this in Rise when he has the lightsaber, he catches it. And I think even leading up to that film, a lot of us were hopeful that he was actually going to do something, like mm -hmm. that he would show up. And there, were, there's rumors, right, that they shot stuff with Hayden, that there was this idea of maybe having Hayden show up in the flesh and all the Jedi actually show up as Force goes. And, you know, Jar Jar Abrams sort of scraps it, which is, you know, on a sort of side note, something I've been sort of preaching for a long time is that i had heard there were some pretty cool ideas even in jj's version me too that he ultimately reversed uno on and was like now nah, let's play it super safe uh and don't worry if it makes sense right so i there's so many questions i have about this so i guess to sort of take it a step back because i don't know if i'm in the same spot as you are because i don't know that luke will play a, a significant role in you know things moving past the sequels i'm not sure about that but maybe before we even get there, like, what do you think is happening here? Like, so Luke's on the Tithe uh, Seeing Stone, right? Which is where Grogu sits. That's the sort of the first mm -hmm. part of this. Mm -hmm. And then, so he's transported to Exegol. We can assume he's already looking for Exegol at this point, right? Right. So I imagine. what do you think's happening here? Is he... Is it similar to the force project? Like, what what do you think is happening? I don't know, dude. I mean, either hey, this whole thing could be just a dream, and they could be catfishing the hell out of us. You know, that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's like yeah, just yeah, imagining yeah. this. He's like, oh, my yeah, God, he's there. Or he's legit on that seeing stone, and he gets teleported there. Right. And it's like, okay, well, now what? I mean, I guess you know, teleportation wouldn't be that far fetched in Star Wars. Yeah. So maybe he transferred his essence there i like sure. is this like something that they're riffing off of episode eight where he did the thing at the end on crate or is this uh you know he was actually there like right mind and body well i and think those, who are those dudes who were the guys right the nine red lightsabers i mean like, yeah were these snow i mean i feel like those guys were snoke yeah or just some kind of you know he he's sort of i think it's implied in the well, writing that there it's the sith planet and so like he sort of is expecting there to be Sith and Sith guards there, right. right? But something that tipped it off for me was that it said there were long, tall, thin beings with red lightsabers, and it said their backs were all curved or something. And we know Snoke had mm. some back injuries or whatever. His, mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. spine was curved. So, yeah. I mean, they all seem to be kind of clones of each other. So man, right. maybe it could have been Snoke. And we know that Luke has fought Snoke before. Right. But the main thing that made me surprised was that First of all, Anakin returned, but with his scar, which is kind of funny. You know, yeah. if, you if you turn as a force ghost, you don't return with your scar. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. So that makes me think maybe it's a dream, but I, I don't know. I mean, if it's not, I doubt they would catfish us like that. Well, you know? yeah, I mean, him being on the seeing stone. So it's actually, here. here's what I think is kind of cool, right? Like, it's it's well written. It's just an excerpt, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. those of you out there, like, it was ah, well written. Yeah. you know what I mean? I get it. But it's well written because him being on the seeing stone implies that it's more than just a vision like if if you cold open on the scene then we're like whoa what is this you know what i mean but he's on the seeing stone it's tython he's on the seeing stone he's being projected to exegol there's it's it is implied that there's something going on here more than just a dream or a vision or, or something like that right yeah, via the power of the stone yeah. Yeah. so i find that really interesting i also Look, Anakin showing up is super interesting, but it's also kind of wild that he shows up to defend Luke. Like, essentially, Luke is fighting these things, right? So and he's losing. And he's losing. And it's like, okay. And then there's fear, and, and, and he's going to be sort of overtaken. And then Anakin shows up. The question is, like, what kind of danger was Luke actually in? And why did Anakin feel the need to show up in that moment, right? That's, I mean, I it's probably Palpatine. Palpatine was there since Return of the Jedi, so. Right. 
Right, 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 right. So, so Anakin's probably like protecting him from Palpatine, and he knows that he's there. Yes, and this is kind of interesting because there's some cool Jedi stuff going on here, but there's also some cool Sith stuff going on. You know what I mean? Because whoever these people are and whatever's going on on Exegol is like, it's it, it's implied that it's pretty freaking crazy. Like this is some of my favorite Star Wars stuff, the weird Force stuff. Like I love the Mortis arc. I think the Mortis arc is amazing. One of the reasons I love the Qui-Gon Jinn character is because of his sort of more mystical interpretation of the Force. And then in Legends, there's this whole idea of this shaman of the Legends of the Wills or, or the Guardians of the Wills, right? Right. That's how he learns Force Ghost stuff. So I like the idea, bro, that there's a whole facet of the Force and that being through the Jedi and the Sith that we haven't seen. Again, there sort of will always be this caveat of like, dang, I really wish that had been explored in the films. But if that's the way they're going, if that's what they're going to explore... I'm down in the future. Like, I think this could be a really cool way to do some fun force stuff and, and maybe not, you know, fix the sequels, but allow for cool Star Wars stuff to happen in a post sequel time period with characters we love, including sequel trilogy characters. And perhaps getting to a place where some of that stuff that happened with Ray, you know, the diet or whatever, that some of that stuff makes a little bit more sense you know and like frankly if luke is and anakin are doing crazy stuff like this and able to like fight within because wasn't there a concept of um snoke luke and ray fighting in the nether realm or something like wasn't that in one of the uh um, art books that. or something like that uh no i don't i don't know I don't I know. Seen that, chat, you know? chat, let me know. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm making something up, or maybe I saw it on Reddit or something. I know like that, that Luke fights Snoke in the comics. Like he, like, how, like uh, Kylo goes to this forest-looking planet that you, you've seen before, and he tells he's talking to Snoke, and it's revealed that he, Luke has effed Snoke up before. Like that's okay. why he looks all decrepit. Mm, okay. Hmm. So. I don't know. But then my question is like, why are there so many different variants of Sno like Snoke? Why are there different clones of him? Like how many have been used? How many have died? Did he possibly mess Snoke up in the this nether world and Snoke was physically affected or something? You know what I mean? Because here's the thing, like yeah, maybe. if it's just did a Anakin... vision, that's what I'm saying. Like, why did Anakin show up? If it, it, do you because here's my thing, right? I'm thinking in terms of like fantasy or like D and D, right? If that's just a projection of Luke, there's no reason for Anakin to show up. Luke's not really in danger. If he gets hurt in that projection, he would just revert back to his body, right? Like kind of magic rules. It sort of implies that there's something else going on there where Luke is in actual danger, not just his sort of cosmic force self, but his living force self. And, and maybe there's something there. Like maybe that connection, which again might have something to do with the force ghost a greater understanding of that you and know the capacity for them to, to be there to be real i don't really care what it does for the sequel trilogy i just care what it does for after i just care sure. for like what what does this mean for for anakin going forwards like does this right. mean we're gonna see anakin just absolutely busting dudes up as a force ghost and he's like freaking super saiyan god level now he's all blue like well i loved what you said about uh dragon ball and it, you know it's funny because hayden, yeah. hayden's back right i mean like obviously we're gonna see him in uh you know just under like five or six weeks here uh mm -hmm. you know with kenobi but he's also gonna be in ahsoka and he must have done a pretty good job in the Kenobi stuff for him to have a role in ahsoka and perhaps more roles moving forward there's literally nothing that says you can't do some like i i say bro at this point where star wars is currently at just go for it like you know what i mean like just do something well, absolutely exactly like yeah. just do some bananas type stuff uh and i know that you personally don't you know care that if if it would be uh sequel trilogy characters or not for me i guess what i'm just really interested in is like ben right so mm -hmm. if he's coming back to life or if he's some is he tapped into that same thing like is it going to be like ben luke and anakin you know what i mean like coming back in some way or like doing some adventure well, and or something else i mentioned in my video was that uh for george's original uh some of his original drafts for return of the jedi he had the force ghosts coming back to fight palpatine and vader right 
So, I mean, this is not far off. Right. Well, this, Star Wars is weird. I mean, we forget, yeah. but like it is like it's there's all sorts of weird stuff that goes on here. Right. So. Yeah, exactly. And so I feel like, you know, if they're going to be incorporating this kind of uh, lore in there, then it just kind of it just opens up the door for what we could expect. Really, anything is on the table at this point. Right. If they're going to bring Anakin back, swinging his lightsaber as a force ghost, like <laughs> yeah. what? Like there's yeah. no difference between dying or being alive than at that point for certain characters it kind of just takes away the um the sacredness of being alive and, right. and the the worry of dying hmm. it's like well if i die i'm just gonna become more powerful and i'll just come back yeah it's pretty interesting i mean is this something that only anakin can do right is it because... something only a few force ghosts can do sure you know, sure like... okay well, how many force ghosts are there i mean think about it there's uh, we see yoda we see Ben or Obi Wan, uh, and we see Anakin and we see Luke. Is that's it, right? I mean, well, though we, when we've seen Leia, uh, you know, we, we oh might, sure, maybe we'll see Ben. Who knows? Sure, um, but yeah, in yeah. the um, Dooku Jedi Lost book, there was a I forgot the name of the master. Chat, help me out. It was Asajj's master when she was a Jedi, and he was like talking to her through the Force. Whoa, really? Yeah, yeah. Huh. But that could have been a figment of her imagination, but it, it didn't seem like it. Well, you know what else is kind of interesting, too, is Ahsoka and the idea of Ahsoka the White. You know what I mean? And, and there that I don't know. It feels as though that maybe got retconned or changed now that they have the opportunity to do a lot more live action stuff with her. But going, you know, going back to that sort of like epilogue at Rebels, right. when you see her in all white like that, I mean, it evokes the Gandalf the White idea so hard right which was crazy because gandalf essentially like falls beneath earth or falls beneath the earth and fights uh uh yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what people are saying in chat well well no no i was reading this look at this <laughs> <laughs> i know man hey what do you want me to do what do you want me to do it's like you know other it's either this or the duct tape on the wall like uh, you guys yeah, saw right? the members yeah. chat earlier today jeez what do you think of my lights? You like them? I like those. Yeah, yeah those are cool sweet, lights. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You digging the red? Or, or, dude, I wish you? that like I could take a screenshot of, of your stuff and get <laughs> it behind me. <laughs> Yo, what if we? Really how do we do that? Just take. We just should. Take, That'd just be kind of funny. Yeah, just do it right now. Can't. Right now it, it'll probably be all blurry though. That's the thing. Yeah, it'll still be, it'll be funny though. All right, let me see. Hang on, let me make this larger. Boom. Here, wait. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Okay. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try that now. <laughs> By the way, thanks for the super chats, guys. We'll we'll get to them after we uh have our little talk. Discussion. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, I'm gonna do a poll in the chat while you while you get your green screen going. I want to see what people say about this too. Do you like that Anakin is? I'm just there. It wasn't letting me do it. Ghost. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty curious about what uh, they think about it. You know. Yeah, I don't I don't see anybody talking about it, man. It's like I'm, I feel like I'm the only person that's made a video about this. Well, I think a lot of people are kind of maybe it's just too much to read, and well, so also, people are skimming over it. Like, well, I think also they've got a little bit of like PTSD from sequels? you know Lucasfilms, yeah, sequels, but also just Lucasfilms novel <laughs> stuff in general. Like, the problem yeah. is nobody's even, got more PTSD than me on that. <laughs> right, but like even before, um, why is this not working? What the heck. Um, so 80% of people so far like it, 20% don't. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, so this is going to be terrible for a second, here. it's all blurry, but it is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> uh that's, that's not blurry at all, it looks the same as mine. No, 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 I mean, like, I'm motion blurry, I guess. Like, I'm like, rah, 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 because rah, rah, of the green rah, screen. Rah. Well, it's actually this, it's StreamYard, I don't know what the deal is, but. Yeah, that's, it has it all weird. That's so funny, man. It is kind of funny, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's pretty good. I can um, make mine blue now so you can... See but, like, can... even if you think about it, like, 
even um before <laughs> last jedi and stuff a lot of the novels didn't didn't like work they didn't they didn't tie into you know the movies at all so yeah i i think i get why people aren't into it look i agree with you that it's a big deal i'm wondering though how big of a deal it is i guess you know what i mean and i'm i'm hopeful that it means something and i'd love for uh for it to mean something super big but uh yeah i don't know i i guess i have a little bit of PTSD. oh i feel like they they test stuff out in the comics and the books and see what the fans think perhaps or they uh laid on us softly like that and then they just you know maybe bring it down the screen yeah no that could so you know i mean if like ahsoka's in trouble or something in the ahsoka show and anakin shows up just like <laughs> swinging his lightsaber using the force and just busting people up i mean that's going to be kind well, of that's interesting. A I mean, the thing is, though, uh, I don't. So, yeah, there's all sorts of like, crazy possibilities, but this story feels really just from that little excerpt. It seems yeah. like really well written because, I mean, come on, man. Like how I, I feel the same way you do where I'm like, dude, as a Star Wars fan, bro, right. like, come on. That's crazy. It still gets me. It's still awesome. It's the it's the main two characters in Star Wars. Definitely checking this book out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's so pretty, pretty incredible. I, I guess I just. I was against it, man, when it came. Well, well, I was for it, and then I read the synopsis, and I'm like, "Oh my god, he's going to Exegol! Come on, dude." Yep. Okay, why, why didn't he the... tell Ray? Why didn't why didn't mm -hmm. why didn't Anakin tell uh, Luke about Exegol? Maybe this is him telling him about it. I don't know. Well, I think that the idea is for, and and unfortunately, you know, for a lot of us, it, it, it does arrive at least temporarily at the point of the Last Jedi and where Luke is at, like in that super low point, right? So. I think that some effort is being done to take this character into basically a place of like uh, Yoda and Obi-Wan, where like, if you think about it, like Yoda and Obi-Wan lie to Luke, they hide stuff from Luke, and maybe that's why Luke didn't tell Rey anything. I mean, if you think about it, even when she arrives there, like he's not about that life. And he says right. three lessons and gives her two, and those lessons sucked. You know what I mean? Yeah, they were so, nothing. Yeah. They were not good at all. Like they were, they're pretty shitty lessons, bro. Like talk yeah. about wanting your money back. Um, so I, I, I don't know. Like I, some of it's like, okay, maybe it's just trying to get there, but this feels compelling and interesting. And look, I've all, man, when I read the idea of like Exegol and the emperor, you know, in the very early plot leaks, like, I won't lie to you. Like part of me got excited about it. I was like, dude, I love the Sith. I love oh, it. Very dark. Like, it came out. Yeah. I, yeah. Like all that kind of stuff's cool. So I'd love for there to be more uh, than just a, a, a stadium full of people doing a weird hand wavy thing. Oh my God. Doing the we way, have yeah, no <laughs> idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, the only thing I don't like about this is that they're just trying to fill it in, trying to make sense of something that was handled so poorly. And that's the yeah. only thing that just turns me off completely and makes me want to walk away and be like, I don't, I'm not even going to try to justify this. But the fact that they're now bringing Anakin into it, you know, I, I, it's a very sensitive character to me. So I'm going to pay very close attention. So far, I like it. I like the fact that he's coming back because if you can transfer into the force and become you, if you could look at that as like its own realm mm -hmm. where for, force ghosts can interact with other force ghosts, maybe even Sith ghosts, I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if you, what Yoda was saying is that like mourn those who don't mourn those who die, then maybe this is kind of opening the pathway to that. Maybe what Obi-Wan was saying about if you strike me down, I should become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Maybe mm -hmm. this is really opening up some explanation into that world. Well, it feels like it was written by a Star Wars fan too, right? Like that's the thing is that yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I and I think it. like dude, JJ's whole thing. I mean, like, look, I, I, again, nothing's gonna make those movies better, you know what I mean? And there's a there's a whole bunch of turdy stuff uh, in there, but if we go forward there's still the possibility of doing interesting things that can be compelling within the force and these characters and uh you know my hope my i guess i'd really love to know i, I want to know more about this book now not just about like what's the plot although i am interested in that like we know from rise that he was hunting that he had a wayfinder he had found his way to exegol or whatever right and then wayfinder is even mentioned in that uh chapter yeah but why just so, because he was trying to kill the emperor 
like is that that must be what it was right like but he, then why would he tell ray about it like never once mentioned it to her like well, yo yeah don't worry about but, snoke the freaking emperor's back he's still hiding on exegol like yeah, I think Luke's dude. I mean, honestly, in some ways, it feels like maybe he was looking right past her, right? Like he didn't think she was gonna be able to do anything or would do anything. Well, and he was just, like, I think if we just skip seven, eight, nine, then things could maybe make sense because the, the the handling of those films and the writing of those films was just so. Yeah, like you're gonna have disjointed. to do you. You would have to do some work to like. Here, here's I think where where I ultimately fall. They cannot simply make episode 10, 11, 12. Like, right. they just can't do that. And, and and I hope they realize that. And I hope they realize where the brand is at, where the fan base is at. I mean, we still have people. I bet I bet if I looked at chat right now, which I don't, ha I don't have chat open. I don't always have it open, guys. Sorry, but, you know, uh, just so I can keep conversation, I don't always have it. But I bet right now there's people screaming about retconning the sequels. Right now. And that's not going to just go away hey, there's one imagine liking seven eight or nine Lol. right 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 right. so they hopefully if lucasfilm understands what kind of a position they are in the only way forward and i think you must yeah, there's forward, tons man as you said yeah that, yeah fine. yeah they can't 100%. let seven eight nine stay those sequels yeah yeah, yeah. okay well. so here's the point though they must do something incredibly compelling that feels like star wars that comes from star wars fans or somebody that really understands the lore it has to matter a great deal like mm -hmm. they cannot do what they did with rise and just slap on here the real end of the skywalker saga like it's not gonna work none of us are gonna check in on that account alone it has to be something incredibly compelling and so this this book this chapter this excerpt introduces something that is incredibly compelling and there's a thread there there's something there that perhaps if played around with if worked into the right macro story like i think maybe they should go to plagueis i think they should maybe okay. go deep within force uh realm and you know ideas of like you had no idea what was really going on or the real stakes of the you know the, well you know what i mean like maybe anakin's fighting a battle in the nether realm this whole time or something crazy like you know what i mean um they have to do something he's like compelling. stuck in there or something well yeah like dude bro like i wouldn't care at all if anakin in like a in an all white robe is on some crazy bridge just fighting for eternity sith spirits that are trying to re-enter our realm do you know what I mean? Like, that seems like crazy. That seems ridiculous. It seems like wild. It's like those kind of ideas. No, that that, I think you're like, that, that why would make, not? That would make the whole Return of the Jedi moment of Luke looking out to them in the forest really just kind of uh, demeaning in a sense. It's not as relaxing anymore, if you know, like this dude's <laughs> sentenced to eternity of fighting dudes well perhaps bridge. he uh finds his way to something like that and by the way that's just an idea i pulled yeah, out of my but i i don't necessarily yeah, love maybe. it but no i get it, the, I get it. the concept um, is that it, it, sh it has to be big it has to be crazy bro you know yeah what if there's like a whole war going on in the force ghost realm right I yeah i mean there's it's like, seen it's like this... dragon ball z Exactly. I mean, we've seen this kind of stuff happen in all kinds of fantasy where, yeah, there's another conflict. There's something higher. And it could even serve to explain a lot of the weird stuff that the Jedi do. You know what I mean? Like, why does yeah. fucking Yoda just go into exile? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, I mean, that's obviously just because he thinks he's failed though i mean like that doesn't seem very jedi like you know well well no because there's no more jedi left so he's like the last two so he's just finding some good real estate and camping out like i don't know because never... if he gets found out by the jedi then luke's hope is gone the hope for luke to be trained is gone yeah i suppose i suppose if obi-wan and him are dead it. then like it's it's over yeah but doesn't he say that he has to go into exile before he knows about the child you know like it's a, i'm just uh no he says after does he oh yeah no he says it before yeah so i mean but, like you can make an explanation up for it and it's i'm not saying that i'm against that but i'm just saying there could be a way to just like in you know hopefully just like kenobi's going to 
take those lines from a new hope and perhaps even make them make more sense uh that kind of stuff's possible you know what i mean that's, mm -hmm. that's what i think hey thanks a sky his first super i'm a security guard and having something to listen to is so passionate i'm so passionate about at night is very relaxing sky awesome sky that's Have awesome, a great man. shift man yeah thanks yeah, for tuning for sure. in we'll get you guys a super chats in a bit um but yeah i mean about yoda like that was kind of the only option for him if mm -hmm. he if he got captured even if like the fact that he didn't know luke existed the future of the jedi any possible potential of the future of any Jedi would be at stake if he was not around. Right. So in Empire, do you think at that point, because like he seems pretty reluctant to train Luke, right? Or do you think he's just being grumpy? That was a test. Yeah, but even like Ben's like trying to get him to do it. And it, it felt like if Ben didn't intervene, like Yoda would just been like, get off my lawn, you know? Well, because well, because Yoda knew he's like, well, this point, you know, this boy is too old. He's just like his father. He's impatient. He's he's there's just no training him. It's just going to end up bad like it did before. Mm -hmm. And he eventually realized, you know, with a little bit of pleading from Luke and Obi-Wan that, hey, th there's really no other option. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm just not against um, some kind of unknown context or taking, you know, it's like because it's funny. I, you know, Rise is garbage, but like maybe we'll look back someday and be like, you know what? Thankfully, JJ at least kept it super vague so that other people could interpret it in the future in a way that makes sense or was cool. Right. But I hate that. And that's one of the reasons why, like, I, I'm. Do you think that's what he's in, like counting on in some ways? Because he did that with um, Seven as well. You know, like he's just very vague and not super Let, purposeful. Lets it, yeah, lets the rest of the other artists come he's in. He's like, they'll figure it out, gaps. right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the problem when you hand off Star Wars to people that have not ever created it. You know, it's like George Lucas is the one that it, it, uh, it should have just been his story, bro. Like he had mm -hmm. a direct outline. He had a plan and it should have been stuck to that. And all of this would have been avoided. But yeah, uh, hey, whatever. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's you know it's possible they're doing something like that or setting something like that up for 10 because i think you know either way it would be very helpful to get fans to re-engage if they were like you know look we're doing one more trilogy to close this thing out we've consulted with george and we're actually going to use uh you know more or less the the direction that he wants to go in i like and, and that i almost don't want to say it because like the odds of them actually doing that are pretty low but bro, that would go a long way. You know what I mean? Like it would go a super long way. It's almost like I I feel like they need to realize how rough uh, you know things are, because it 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 seems like in some ways they don't have a. I think they know. I hope. I think they see it in their sales, their merch sales. Yeah. I hope the yeah. sequels, prequels, and originals differences. But you know, now with Dave talking to George all the time that he's told us about, I mean, I feel like George definitely has some sort of a play by telling Dave, yo, like this needs to be like this. I mean, for sure, they talked about Kenobi. They talked yeah. about Hayden and Ewan coming back. I mean, these are George's boys. Yeah. Right. Like it, everything is gonna go through George, I feel like. Yeah. At the end of the day, I think, you know, Dave will call him up like once a month or once a week or whatever and be like, hey, like, what do you think if we do this in the Kenobi show? What do you think if we do that? Mm -hmm. I bet you he's given Dave some pointers and being like, look, I don't think this is the right way or maybe we should do this. Maybe we should do that. They have yeah. to do it this way. And then he's going to be like, well, Disney wants us to do this. And he's going to be like, well, maybe we should spin it like that or spin it like this. Yeah. It's not like it's fully his story anymore at yeah. all. But I definitely think he has some influence on the stuff he does tell Dave. I think so too. I mean, I think that at the very least he has influence over the way Dave thinks about these things because like he would talk about because yeah. like I've well, seen they the, think pretty similarly anyways. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, how can you not? He studied under the feet of the master. It's like, you know, having a your best yeah. student start a dojo. Like it's gonna be pretty similar, right? So it's like um that's good, but I, I think that George would always talk um sort of in very direct terms about the concepts that he created so like he would instead of saying like this is what i would do you know what i mean he'd be like this is what a jedi would do you know right. what i mean or like this is what this character would do this right. is what would happen. and so in that way yeah i'm sure any advice he'd be getting from george 
would be pretty direct, you know what I mean, about the way that he sees it. And I, I think that Dave would, at the very least, respect it and hopefully, you know, heed it a little bit. But for me, man, why they got to hide that? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'd, put, I'd put that on Front Street, bro. And I feel like there's an ego thing going on where they don't want to, if it feels like they don't want to admit or whatever. Um, well, they're very secretive. They're very, uh, you know, which I understand, you know, but a little transparency goes a long way with people. It would be hype, dude. Like, it, they, they don't understand the hype machine and, like, what that would do to the fandom. Like, you know, and look, we're saying all of this before what I think will be one of the biggest Star Wars celebrations of all time and we'll have an incredible amount of an amount of announcements and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully a lot of clarity about where we're going with this stuff, right? Yeah. Um, so I it's bittersweet. You know, I, I'm kind of bummed I'm not going, but also I'm happy I'm not going because I think there will be so much stuff that we need to talk about and cover. It's gonna that be crazy. Going will just get in the way of that. I remember when I was there in 2018 or 2019. And it was like there was so many things going on that I could really only pick and choose the stuff I covered. Like while yep. I'm in one panel, there's another panel going on. And I like I couldn't be there. Plus, the Internet sucks. You can't like find necessarily a great place to record. Oh, or, like, your and thoughts. then yeah, yeah, and then I'd like have to get back to my room. But it would take yep. like an hour and a half because you just see people on your way back. And well, plus to Chicago, dude, like Chicago is about an hour away from Chicago. You know what I mean? Like there's the traffic is crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm with you, bro, because like I would love to be there to feel that energy because I mean, look, even though Rise ended up being a stinky raccoon juggling diapers kind of a situation, uh, you know, roll it again is still one of my favorite moments as a fandom, dude. Yep. Seeing that and feeling that energy when he came out and did that, it was, was amazing. Awesome, dude. Yeah. The, the, so, the energy at, at a celebration that year was, it was electrifying. It, it was. Like it was beautiful. It was. it was amazing, dude. But yeah, I mean, look, I will give props to JJ for one thing is that he retconned a lot of eight. Yeah, it's true. Which was it, the sole reason I enjoyed nine. Well, he had to put until things. Until I realized, well, can't. that it's a goobly club that, that can't be yeah. the only reason you like a movie yeah <laughs> yeah it's you know. tough i mean i i agree uh that he puts a lot of the things back on the shelf the way that they should be it reminds me of like when a bad comic book writer has a hold of your favorite character for a while and you're just like cringing like so some people love tom king's batman some people hate it and they long for the days of scott snyder you know like doing main batman and so it's like you know, it reminds me of that kind of situation where you're like, man, and then all of a sudden it's announced a new writer's on your favorite character, and you're like, let's go. Uh, and sometimes they do that. They'll set some things back on the shelf the proper way. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, J.J. did that, you know, with Luke and the Holdo maneuver and, you know, Ray nobody and, you know, a lot of that stuff. He He's just totally uninterested uh, in what Ryan had going on, so... Yeah, there's yeah, uh, eight and nine were basically, you know, uh, Ryan saying mine's bigger. And then JD be like, no, mine's bigger. It's like, no, yeah. no, no. My. It's like, well, OK, dude, can we just tell Star Wars, please? Yeah, so wild. And I think, you know, man, hidden within both of those movies could have been incredible Star Wars movies. Like, oh, yeah. it, like uh, I, w I really wish somebody had kept Ryan in line. Cause like, dude, they just gave him Kerr Blanche and it's ridiculous. That they, it's, dude, it's it's ridiculous. Like, I remember George told him he's like, "Well, why are you building so many <laughs> like life size sets?" Like, what yeah, he made he well, he just overrode it. He was just you know he did and and look honestly, that's fine. But then you have producers and people step in and be like, "Nah, fam, like that's we're not no doing that. that." There were there was yeah, yes nobody, dude. Yeah, there was, oh my god. Yeah, well, they well, allowed him to anyway. use uh, Ra Ram or whatever as his like sort of producer or whatever. So they almost did a sort of co-production, which is, again, you, crazy. You can't, you can't be mad at Ryan, man. He just, you know, he got a job to do something. And as as uh, Mark told me when he interviewed Ryan Johnson, that Ryan went in there not to direct episode eight. He went in there to pitch his own Star Wars story. And Kathy's like, why don't you direct episode eight and write it? Like, What? What did she have? Like a freaking fortune cookie that day that had her feeling a certain way? Like, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. But, I mean, I guess going back to the Anakin of it all, I mean, what is your... I mean, I guess we're going to have to rate... When does this book come out? Uh, July... Uh, oh, I totally forgot. Uh, June, I think. June, okay. Let me check it out. Uh, and June. then... Uh, 
what like what's your high hopes for what this could mean for the future my high hopes for what it could mean for the future is that well luke comes back as a powerful force ghost and you know isn't reduced to just showing up as a shimmering being it's translucent <laughs> yeah <right. laughs> giving some advice here or there and 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 then uh vanishing again like maybe he can actually show up and fight and do something cool like i mean why not if you're gonna if that you know it's a, it's stupid i don't like it but if that is the difference between you know him showing up and being around again versus not and just a jedi's weapon deserves more giving a couple tidbits of advice here or there and then mm -hmm. peacing out like obviously i'm going to choose him coming back in the full, full, full yeah fine do it whatever do it i don't do care it. yeah i think it comes out summer so july probably is the right one yeah i no, guess july is the uh july is the obi-wan and anakin book Mm, okay, so June, maybe it's like August or, or I would I love it earlier, know, bro. bro. Did it even say did chat? Did it even say when it comes out? I think the thing I just read said summer 2022. Okay. But yeah, I mean it doesn't at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense for force ghosts to be fighting with their lightsaber. Like that's ridiculous. What well, yeah, exactly, right? Like, so there's what's going on there. You know what I mean? Like, what is that? I, I don't know. I'm pretty I'm pretty interested. Oh, it's interested. totally whack. <laughs> like, don't, yeah. don't get me wrong. It's totally weird. But it's also cool in the sense that, okay, we can still get these characters after they freaking killed them. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, Anakin's story is done. Yeah. But him coming back as a Force ghost and still fighting? Okay. It's weird, but I'll, I'll, I'll roll with it. We'll see what happens. And as for Luke coming back, at least we get to freaking see him. Yeah. As an yeah. old Jedi master, like doing something, if it's in the Force or not, well, whatever. I mean, the Slim Pickens at this point. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty interested. I mean, I want to definitely check out the book. I don't think it's necessarily going to play a, a major role in anything moving forward, but it could set up some interesting ways for these characters to still be involved in stories moving forward, right? So either via interesting interactions like this, with like. Because, you know, there's this whole other thing that could be going on here because you got Taika Waititi's movie, right? Which is said, I mean, we don't know for sure, but it really looks like he's going back. He he He's doing something like Old maybe, ain't, yeah, something like that, right? And okay. so perhaps there's something that they want to explain about all of this that's just furthering that lore, deepening what could actually be happening with the Force Ghost. I've always been fascinated with that, and I don't think we have... Like there's still more story there. There's still more things to be done, and whatever this vision is, whatever's going on with Anakin and Luke, like it seems super compelling, and mm -hmm. I definitely want to know more. And I'd love if maybe Ben spends some time with Anakin and Luke. You know what I mean? In the world beyond or whatever, uh, and then ultimately is sent back or something. To you know what I mean? Like because I do think they're gonna resurrect Ben, and maybe this is a way for them to resurrect Ben, but also have him have some scenes and some significance with Anakin and Luke. Because I always thought it was such a shame that Anakin doesn't talk to his grandson. I mean, you this kid is literally fanboying over <laughs> Vader the entire time, right? And we come to find out that it's like, it's Palpatine well, catfishing him the whole time? Well, he, he can't. He's in the dark side. And dark side users can't really open up to, to Force Ghosts. Unless sure. you're going like old legends where... Cade was haunted by Luke's <laughs> force right. He was like trolling the shit out of him until eventually Cade took some uh, uh, death sticks to cut himself off from the force so Luke wouldn't show up. Yeah. Yeah, Which I don't know. Funny. I just, I, I think there's there's potential there. You know what I mean? And, and a way to, to make it really cool. And at this point, what do you have to lose? Go big. That's what I say. Go big, baby. I mean, exactly. I, want, I want force ghosts will smith to show up <laughs> you know and, and to be like you keep ray skywalker's name out your mouth and then you know just talking shit to, about padme yeah 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 yeah, I ha yeah. it's gonna be yeah. vader man it's gonna be vader with kenobi he just smacks the shit out of him mm -hmm. you keep my wife's name out your dude actually real talk that like dude low-key that will actually happen i think probably obi-wan's gonna be like Poor little Anakin couldn't save his mother just like his dead wife. 
Oh, oh, <laughs> damn, just gonna, yo. insane. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Should we read some soupies? Let's soup it up, man. See what the peoples have to say. All right. Let's soup it up. All right. <clears throat> Don't send any more. We want to. We want to finish early tonight. Yeah, we're having a, we're having an early <laughs> night, man. I'm over here packing. Yo, it's yeah. probably gonna be another like six hours. Oh God. Oh God. Oh wait, it's glitching out. It's doing that thing. Oh well, can't read the name. Oh, sorry guys. See you later. Good night. GGS. Just be such a douche. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh man. It actually is doing that thing. What the hell is that? Yeah, it actually is doing that thing. Like I can't even click the super chat. Oh no. Um there's a way to, for you to get to them in the back end, but you won't be able to pull They won't up. pop up. Yeah. 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 I mean, some of them are not working right now. Oh jeez. Everything's Star Wars. Uh I can't even read it. Everything Star Wars. Something of the Jedi for me. Uh, some of them work. Okay. Yo, Nicholas, Aetherian hey, Josh, would you like a Qui-Gon book about him going over his transition into the Force and speaking with Yoda? Yep. Dude, 100%. Dude, the Wills, I've always been interested in them. Uh, Qui-Gon and the Shaman of the Will, the Force, because all that stuff, I'm su I've always been interested in that. So, yeah, I'd be Yo, We definitely need more Qui-Gon. Yeah, yeah. We need to know his journey. How was he the first one that became a Force ghost and all that? Like I'm saying, a Force ghost book, basically. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, and like what that. like what happens when you become a force ghost? Like, do you enter some new realm where literally this is like an even playing field where you're like alive, but you're just you're dead compared to right. you know, those who are alive? Yeah, why do you regain your consciousness? Like the the whole thing is weird, um, and there must be a purpose, right? Yeah. Let me read this one. Mm -hmm. Indiana Solo with a ten dollar holla says, "If you were a Jedi during the time of Jedi Mandalorian War, would you have joined uh, Revis, joined Revan, or stayed neutral?" Also, Anakin's limbs fell off into lava. Obi Wan saw it happen. I mean, that's true. They did see the limbs fall in there. Um, I don't know. I guess I would have joined Revan just because he was super awesome. Uh, I'm feeling I neutral today. I'm going to say neutral. There you go. I'd love to see the Jedi Mandalorian Wars. I mean, what a prime place for them to put like a show or something. It'd be sick. Mm -hmm. Joshua says Will Smith W. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to offend anybody, but I mean, you know, people have different opinions. You know? Yeah, who gives a shit? <laughs> Having an opinion offend someone? Will Smith W. Let's go, Philly. Much love, guys. Thanks for your internet. What's up, Zane? What's up, man? Hey, did Matt Stover look over Vader Episode 2 script? Nope, not yet. I haven't contacted him because I'm not done. I'm actually adding more to it. Did he I'm say he might stuff. take a peek at it, though? He said he'd be down, yeah. He said he'd be down. Nice, I could um, um, maybe hire him to like be a consultant. Wow, that'd be super cool, man. That'd be nice. But he does also have uh, contracts with Lucasfilm. So I, I don't know how those mm. would play out, you know, like a conflict of interest or who knows I'm not sure conflict of pablo yeah uh unfortunately i don't remember asking what jordan what you talking about bro i don't know don't remember asking what I don't know charlie charlie and it can full power a lightning oh a super saiyan god yes uh, just keep him from the trilogy that shall not be named. On a related serious note, thoughts and prayers for Matt Lanter. He's in the ER. Oh, right. Yeah, I saw something about this last night. Yeah, I don't understand what's happened to him. But the only I heard was no that he's, he's in the hospital and uh, he had to go for surgery or something. Wow. Yeah, poor guy. Yeah, prayers for sure, man. Uh, for those who don't know who Matt Lanter is, he is the voice of Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, wow. Hope he's okay for sure. Mm -hmm. thanks though charlie you're yeah. always a real one charlie yeah so soundless says my bro wants to smash you nice yeah <laughs> thanks dude yo my mom's cousin's grandma's sister's brother cat is getting spayed really stressed keep up the great work <laughs> <laughs> yo chicken joe right nice. on man Hope do you be think okay. the next star wars trilogy will be episodic or standalone um probably episodic episodic i would prefer it to be standalone i'd prefer a start of a whole new trilogy go way far into the future but i think 
they want to they don't want to do that so yeah i think it'll be episodic i'm not against episode 10 i think we'll all watch it honestly i mean they kind of got us for one more either way because we have to see what happens in the next in, in episode 10 do you know what i mean yeah like we got to see we got to see it now i'm not saying we would watch the next two because like if it's like force awakens 2.0 like can you imagine just the whole thing again and another death star thing and you know han solo and it was like geez man y'all really got and then like at the end of the movie kathy should just come out and do the captain america meme and just flip a chair around it like so you thought we'd actually give a shit about star wars you know and then we're all just like damn like got us again just so you know i've cloned myself <laughs> right. i will be here for another hundred years hey guys glad lucas was finally realizing people deeply care about anakin and other prequel characters hopefully his this bodes well for the future of star wars y you think yeah yeah i hope yeah. so too man there are a lot of signs uh that good things are coming and that star wars is turning it around but the problem is we're also scarred and there's so much ptsd that like any little thing we're like <laughs> You know what I mean? Like well, we're that, ready to go. That's how I feel right now, to be honest. I'm just like, uh... yeah. I think that's why a lot of people were looking past the books, bro. Like I was like, you know, the books are a segue into what will happen. Yeah, yeah. I hope Lego Star Wars looks like the greatest Star Wars video game of all time. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. I'll be streaming it for sure. That time of the week again. Let's go. Still waiting for Luke Soka onesies, Josh. Our little dude got to represent. LOL. Braden, thanks, man. Uh, I'll try to get in contact with the dude about that, and we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> People love that stuff, though. When you guys predict the next Kenobi trailer will release, will Vader and Anakin be all over it? Hmm. Mm. I think the next one's going to release probably in April. Yeah, I, I do think they'll have more. Yeah, I say that's probably true. Uh, maybe as Moon Knight's kind of winding down, they drop one to be like, yo, like, you know, this is what's coming next or whatever. Um, I do think more Vader and Anakin in the next one. What about you? I don't know. If, I don't think we'll ever see Vader in a maybe right before the show comes out. I don't know if we'll see Vader in a trailer, to be honest. Mm, I, I kind of say do it, you know, and I drop that bomb, man, really tease that out. I don't know. I don't think we'll get more than, like, his breathing or perhaps his silhouette or something. something yeah, like maybe. Uh, when do you guys predict the next Kenobi trailer will release? Will Anakin be all over it? Oh, yeah, so again, just... I know, yeah, I don't, I don't think Anakin will be in it. I don't think we'll get Anakin probably until, like, episode... Yo, Star Wars Mansplained, yeah, very generous $20, says, got Thank chills you. hearing the story uh, once Anakin appears. Very excited for what can be done in the future. Yeah, man, amen, amen, I agree. <coughs> it's uh, it's exciting. <coughs> I was, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I'm definitely reading that book now, which I wasn't going to, so. Do you think we'll see Clea Lars and Kenobi? No, he's dead. Who is Clea Glars? Is the OG? His the old man? Who no, it's the guy that uh basically took slave bought Shmi as a slave. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. And then married her. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And then he was like, You keep Shmi's name out of your <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> Don't know if you guys do zooms or call ins, but I have a theory about QG J crystal, but can't type it all out because money is tight as uh, yeah, we don't have Collins, man, but uh, we yeah. appreciate you. I don't know what QG Qui Gon Jinn crystal. Well, oh, you think it's Luke's? Yeah, yeah hit hit up hit up the Reddit or uh, you know do an Insta or something or tag us and something like that. Maybe we could check it out. And at that tweet point. Josh. Tweet me, man. I'm always on the tweeters. Will Kenobi fight be brutal as Scene Thirty Eight reimagined? Better. I think so. Yeah, I think it's gonna be crazy and. Uh, yeah, there's this whole thing going around about Vader like basically burning the shit out of Obi Wan's arm uh, as like a way to kind of get revenge on him, and I kind of like that, dude. Really? Like, yeah, torch him up a little, you know, get there's him a, a little leak. extra crispy. There's a leak about that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I love Vader, but I would love to see a version of full-powered Anakin without the suit. He'd probably be like Neo and could grow his arm back. Dude, I mean, like, you the sky's honestly the limit with here's what I can I be honest? I don't know about growing his arm back, but bro, grow it all back. 
grow it all back, manifest in actual physical form, and do episode 10, 11, and 12 with actually just Anakin. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd be honestly, it's the that would be the most ridiculous thing. It's actually technically just as ridiculous as retconning the sequels. And I don't care. Just do it. <laughs> Which sadly will never happen. Right. Just do it. Give us the Hayden. Oh, Hayden we're getting Hayden. Hayden. We're getting lots of Hayden for sure. Like they, I think they like clued in that. Okay, well, people really like this guy, so. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we still do after this Kenobi series. You know. No, I think we will. Love you guys. Would you do a top ten based Anakin and Ahsoka or Anakin and Obi Wan moments leading up to Kenobi? What did you think of the Oscars talking down on animation as being for kids because Clone Wars very kids friendly? So I didn't watch the Oscars other than that thirty second clip of yeah. Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. Same. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what the hell they said. Did they? Is that what they said? Animations for kids? Well, that's clearly wrong. In my opinion. Yeah, I mean, did anybody watch Invincible? <laughs> <laughs> Animations Dude, for everybody, man. The Oscars is such a joke, bro. And and the thing is, like the the Oscars this time around was just showing you, I, I it's such a microcosm of what everything that's going on in the world and how absurd things are. I mean, first of all, they open up all these fan event things. Did you know about this? They did all these like fan things where they wanted fans to vote and be interactive and all that because they want engagement and they want people to give a shit about the Oscars. And the Zack Snyder fan base demolished like all of it, bro. Like the Snyder fans voted in the scene in that film where he reverses time as having a better pop than Spider-Man No Way Home. And that's absurd. Like, wow. you know what I mean? Like, I love the Snyder Cut, but bro, nothing tops that moment from no, no way home. No. So they just basically co-opted it and took over. And they just continue to show people that they're like the most united, craziest, you know, borderline annoying fan base that there has ever been. And it just shows how out of touch the Oscars are. They thought they could basically do a fucking poll in the public <laughs> internet space and, and, and have it actually work out. And then on top of that, you know, Will, Will snaps and pops off. And then the man wins the award <laughs> and gives his speech, dude. It's like, what is happening, dude? Like, the whole thing is crazy. Um, it's a big old mess, um, but it's it, it's entertaining. And the memes have been great. You know, the memes have been pretty great. Yeah. So anyways, and my answer to that, I, I think, I think uh, animation is definitely for everybody. And I think animation definitely, not only for anybody, everybody, but I mean, it, it also has a way of connecting you with also being a kid while being an adult. And kind of enjoying the movie more, yeah. in a sense. Hundred percent. I mean, look at Avatar. Uh, Avatar is animated. Oh heck yeah! And then, um, anybody seen Akira? I mean, dude, the Japanese. First of all, they definitely don't feel this way. They, to them, uh, Japanese animation is paramount. It's like the primo stuff. Like everybody watches anime and reads manga over there. Mm -hmm. So, like culturally, they they just completely disagree with that. Um, and Akira is like some of the best cinema I've ever seen and it's animated, you know, some of the best yeah. star Wars moments are animated. So yeah, just big L take there. Whoever said that from the Academy. Well, it's just a bunch of like old people that have made it in the movie business. And Dude, they why can... did they even call themselves the Academy? Like they, it's a bunch of people that play pretend for a living. The Academy of what? What's academic about what they're doing? I, I the whole thing is a joke to me. It, it, it's all just a bunch. Well, of... I think acting's academic for sure. I think you got to study a lot. You could, do you though? <laughs> like I don't know if I agree. I don't know if I agree, brother. I'm I mean, it's an saying, art. It is certainly that. Yeah, there's some bad that. actors out there, you know. And there, there, there certainly some are who... some bad actors. Yes, but I think it also has a way to do with like it has something to do with the way your brain is wired. Like, can you really believe something or not? You know, yeah, how yeah, good I of think, a liar are you? It's like hundred <laughs> percent. I think that most. I mean, that's why Hollywood is such a weird town because at the end of the day, an actor is pretending. That's what they do. They put on a face. They pretend to be somebody else. Yeah. I mean, and you know, that's obviously if you have a town full of people that pretend for a living. You know what I mean? Like it's just it, it, you lose a little touch with reality. I don't know if there's a it's a, a fundamental. How many of these people like you know know who they are? And I know that's like. A, it's kind of a cliche judgment of Hollywood, but it's like true. Like, I don't know, dude. Like the whole thing, it just seems so weird to me that we put these people on a literal pedestal. Like they're, they're on a literal pedestal. You know what I mean? It's just, it's crazy to me. I like movies. Obviously I think movies are definitely fine art. I've always thought directors and writers are far more important than actors. Although there are some incredible actors. 
um yeah the whole the whole thing is weird to me yeah i understand that i mean i think when they throw their politics into it i think it's garbage but when you know it's like having a, a musician that moves you and makes you feel a certain way like you're going to idolize them the same with an actor they, they do a performance that makes you feel a certain way and combine that with the music and the cinematography and all this mm -hmm. you're going to feel special about it you're going to you're going to want to put them on a pedestal kind of thing like they're they're mm -hmm. larger than life because they make you feel a certain way yeah make you you know make mm -hmm. you feel heroic in a in a time of doubt or whatever it may be so i, yeah, I can yeah. see that but yeah we gotta always remember that the characters are cool the actors may be cool but not always yeah some i mean and obviously you know we're speaking generally and there are some people some actors are also writers producers directors and have like a real just eye and Sylvester talent. Stallone, yeah, yeah. they're absolutely incredible uh examples out there but i think a lot of them are um they get a lot of the glory they're right. like um like if you play football you know the the people that really make the whole show go are like the linemen we call them the big uglies right but the receivers and the quarterback and the pretty boys they get all the credit but they're not the ones really moving the ball you know what i mean it's the it's the dude that touches the ball every single time it's the center it's the guards the tackles uh and i think in hollywood there's a lot of that too and hollywood yeah it's just you know so to me the oscars are always a joke they've always been a joke and last night was an incredible example of how much of a joke they really are you know um without condoning or whatever uh what happened it's just it's all absurd like they're really saying that they're they're removing uh editing and stuff from the show the show just the, the viewership goes down steadily every year yeah it's just it's funny it's the memes are great i'm glad i'm glad it happened or whatever but i think it's uh on cur about fair enough on cur star wars the will smith saga a new okay. slap empire slaps back return of the slap slapping menace attack of the slaps revenge of the slap much love thanks michael wow michael well done luke says love the show <laughs> fyi josh ahsoka is 17 years older than luke not 37 like you said multiple times last team still cringe but not as cringe okay Fair, so we got a Luke Soka shipper here. I also want to say that I got that math wrong because of Jensen Baker, who is one of the Nerd Avengers. He's a member on my channel, and he incorrectly informed me that it was 37 years. So I apologize to everybody. What is up, my dudes? On Nerd Theory while pumping iron. Perfect combo. Love you guys. Love you too, Victor. Have a great swell. Yeah, man. Hope you got a spot or be safe spot of the week theory uh -oh. i told you i told you if there was a content on the sequels to flesh it out uh give it a clone wars treatment it's all about the potential baby i would love to see peak anakin laying into ben what Le like, like, yeah, like that has eating, to be eating the crap out of him oh okay oh what do you think <laughs> I thought this took a turn. All right. Yeah, this, uh, this took a turn. All right. If James Arnold Taylor doesn't have a cameo in Kenobi, I love I'm this gonna, picture. I will dismiss it. Yeah, no, it, is. it would be amazing to have a movie or a show about the Jedi afterlife. A deep dive in that part of Star Wars has always been mysterious. I agree. I think it would be sick, dude. Just do it, Disney. Tell you. Tell your universes for now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read what it says, but I don't know. I'm not going to zoom in. I don't yeah. I'm going to have a really stressful April with exams, and you guys will really help out. Push, help me out. Push forward. First week of May, and I'm done. Then Kenobi and Multiverse of Madness. Right. No, it's true. That's going to be a crazy month, dude. Because Multiverse of Madness is going to blow minds, and I think Kenobi will too. <laughs> Thanks, Mikkel. Uh, here's to having a great April. Yeah, yeah. CGI, CGI Mark, Mark Hamill. Hamill, Luke, Sebastian, Stan, Luke, thoughts. I'd be down. I'd be down. Yeah. Yeah. So for those who don't know about this, in Heir to the Empire, Luke was a clone of Luke, and he was evil, and uh, he fought Luke. I, yes. I would be down for that. I think that would be cool. It was dangerous. It was bad. Obviously, super scary. So well, there, was a, uh, there was a dark Jedi named Joris Sabaoth who... Uh, mm -hmm. Who was controlling this whole thing with Thrawn? Yeah, it was cool. 
What if Christopher Lloyd is playing Sabioth? He's perfect for the role. Mando tells Luke that he ran into a crazy Jedi, kind of a long shot, but cool. Ooh, that'd be nice. Did Luke say that? No. That he ran into Oh, he's no. saying like that. Would like be it would be neat. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'd yeah, love yeah. that. Yeah, I'd love that. So that would be cool. What if he was the voice of Grogu when Grogu finally speaks? <laughs> That's horrible. I think it would be hilarious, dude. Like just have that old Christopher Lloyd voice. Like that would be crazy. No, that wouldn't make sense. We get back in the ship and we go to Mando. You know, like that'd be amazing, dude. Oh my god, he's not that old yet. Yeah. <laughs> Anakin, Obi, and Ahsoka get teleported in an episode of Clone Wars to a plane outside their reality, so it doesn't seem that possible. Impossible. I, yeah, that's, yeah, that's more true. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Like that kind of stuff, and that's George's sh- dude. That, that was George's shit, guys. Like that's yeah. what friggin' like George way back in the seventies probably doing way too many drugs out in the desert by himself like that that's that kind of stuff man and i'm here for it frankly give me all that weird george stuff dude i think that the public slash official lack of john and dave and kenobi and the presence of kk is a pr move to try and make us like her again i think it's all bs an attempt to make kk look good again god i hope not um i don't don't care bro i just want good star wars I want good Star Wars too, but I just I think that to be fair to Jordan's point here is that there there is some stuff that seems to be done from PR to try to protect KK's image. The thing about that that sucks is that um, she can't just get on a stage and talk about Star Wars with passion. You know what I mean? Because she always puts her foot in her mouth. Like when she had that, she's done many different interviews. And it's like, oh, my God, like she just says almost the worst possible thing. And uh, it's a shame, you know what I mean? Which is another reason why I think, uh, you know, fresh blood would be so cool. Get somebody out there that can legitimately carry us nerds to the promised land. Yeah, get her out of there, man. Yeah. Full power Anakin versus Thanos Infinity War. Who wins? Anakin, full power, 100%. Well, depends on how crazy full power is. Are we talking about full power that we just learned about that can force ghost, you know, no, demon walk we're or whatever? About like b- before he became, or like, well, before he lost to Obi Wan, but just full power as Anakin. What part of Infinity War does he have a full gauntlet? Because that's that's he has a full gauntlet. Well. Then it's Thanos. So full power I'm... Anakin? No, I mean it's that's that's two hundred percent more than the Emperor. Yeah, he could turn him into bubbles. He would break all the bones in his hand before he could even do anything. He would crush his skull with the force. And it, it doesn't matter. Over. Like Thanos has control of all of reality. So he could basically just go back in time. Like he could set a time loop like Doctor Strange does and just boom, he's up again and again. And yeah, again. but Anakin went to Mortis and he beat uh, the son and daughter. So he's kind of like a, bug, a god at this point. What? He goes he's to Mortis a... and beats him? Well, he did, right? So he's like a god. At full power, Anakin would probably have delved into the realm of Mortis probably even more. I feel as though the Force, because it can only interact with living things, um, is not all of reality. And I think that if you have a control of all aspects of reality, including time which, you know, the Force kind of does through the world between worlds, but that's not really, like, time travel. Like, you literally just freeze time. Like, what's Anakin going to do if he just freezes time and walks over to him and punches his face? Yeah, you have a point. If he just... Yeah, you got a point. It's a tough one. What can he do? What can he do? I guess. As you are aware, there's a WWE guy called Austin Theory. Wait, are you aware? Right. I don't know your real name, but I smell some gimmick in front <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there to this dude. Let's look this dude up. That's funny. Austin Theory, huh? This doesn't change anything for me. If this existed without the sequel, sure. But with that story still existing in the timeline, it just makes more plot holes about Luke not doing anything about the Emperor and his fleet. Yup. Yeah, that's true. Unless he, like, I don't know, we find out that he thinks the Emperor is dead or something. I don't know. Or he kills, or the Emperor had a vessel that was better, and Luke destroys it. Or Yeah, there has to be something I'm more. I'm telling you, the <laughs> only way this can really make sense as to Luke being a little P-boy and running off and cutting himself off from the Force is that the Emperor tried to clone him and got really close until Luke finally destroyed everything and then <clears throat> hid. 
or if the emperor could feed off of luke's power somehow no matter what <clears throat> that basically like by luke even being tapped into the force at all it was somehow fueling palpatine's return which is kind of implied but never like clearly stated like i could see that being the way maybe luke on exegol it's probably just a dream or vision the responsibilities of a husband and father to be would overwhelm him and require much rest jk p.s sorry about the raccoons last week oh it says JP. <laughs> nice he's talking about luke soka with his coming father thing. He like slipped it in like kind of totally. So. Hey Theory, how's it going? Not sure how I feel about Luke Lando deal. I feel like it's kind of damage control. Well, of course it is. I recognize it at this point, but it's like, all right, <laughs> let's see how far the rabbit hole goes. Yeah, I mean, at this point, like obviously like that's not that cool, but the damage control we got with Palpatine with the novel was it didn't make any sense, dude. It was like, what? Like, her father's a forceless clone. Like, what? Like, that was stupid. This is at least cool, you know? So, yeah. give it that. Right. Theory, I saw you follow Spirit Box on Insta. They did a collab with my favorite artist, Elenium. Have y'all heard Elenium's music? Uh, all four albums are great, but the story of the first three Ashes of Rekha are very special. I have not. No, and I like Spirit Box. I actually got their merch. And, I don't know what uh, that is. It's a great band. Cool. Local band. Check them out. Cool. Yeah. I'm DM. Yeah. <clears throat> Anakin with Scar is probably Palpatine trying to manipulate Luke, not actually Anakin. That's my interpretation. Wow. Can you imagine? I don't think so. Yeah. Ha like, I don't know. The There's, scenes, no way. Um... There's no way they would do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be wild. If this was handled by George, I'd be all in on this as I trust his vision more. Well, of course. Absolutely. Yep. And that's why they should just get him back. Just give him all the monies. You know? Right. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's got a good bit, but. Hey, boys, keep up the good work. I'm heading to basic training right now and won't have my phone for a while. Any ideas what I can expect for content from both of you when i get home shut up and take my money for deodorant and toothpaste uh well, that's awesome man you know what i mean i hope you have a good um journey with all of that and uh for me i'm very excited about moon night moon night comes out uh tomorrow late night essentially but six weeks of moon night so i'm gonna be talking about that covering kenobi leaks and rumors and, and fun stuff like that and then covering kenobi so that's what i'm doing Yo, happy birthday, Andrew Johnstone. He says, can someone please put a comment in so I can get a happy birthday from Theory? It's my 30th. I saw you, man. I see you. Happy birthday, there bro. You go. Have a great day. There you go. Yo, thanks, sweet Maui Onion. Uh, any ideas what I can expect content from both of you when I get home? Um, depends when you get home. Kenobi. Yeah, tons. It's just going to be all Kenobi. Kenobi. I thought Force Ghosts could only make an impact on Force sensitive planets, but you have Kenobi on Hoth and the gang on Endor. Many possibilities. Many. What's the rules? What's going on? And is Anakin able to do no stuff as a Force Ghost that others are not because of Probably. being the chosen one? Probably. I mean, dude, is he going to, like, maybe it's not done. Maybe the prophecy's not done. Bro, if he's made of the Force, I mean, he can do anything. He could do anything. At that point, I think he could beat Thanos with a gauntlet if he's like that. You know what I mean? Because, like, you are the force. You're just, yeah, because like, you're, like, beyond reality, right? So it's like, yeah, all kinds of crazy stuff. Who knows? I used to think Anakin was cool in concept but bad in execution. Now he's one of my favorite characters, and I think he's dope. Anything with him involved has my interest peaked. Yes. Yeah, I agree. <coughs> I'd agree. Bless you, Brett. These allergies, man. I, I, yeah. I, I might die. Don't die. Don't, I don't, don't die of allergies. That would suck. In Legends, Kenobi left Tatooine for a bit. He leaves to help Qui Gon. Leaves to help Jedi Olin. Qui Gon ends up watching Luke in the book. <coughs> Gosh dang, man. Gosh dang. In the show, Qui Gon would watch Luke. Oh. Maybe that's kind of interesting. Qui Gon Force goes watching over Luke. You gonna make it? Yeah. Eyes are burning. Holy <laughs> shit! Canada. I, I had no idea y'all have pollen. I thought it was just all ice. 
No, the season's changing. It's been like this for like three weeks for me. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. Also, Theory, can't wait for Obi-Wan. It'll be the second watch party. You deaf are awesome kind of guy. And Josh, you're still a... <laughs> <laughs> no, no on no, Luke Sogan. Thanks, no man. on Luke Sogan. Thanks, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. Big super chat from... Oh, we already read this one. Yeah, yeah, but it's still pretty <laughs> funny, dude. It is pretty funny. That's cool. And <laughs> yeah, next week you'll you think next week you won't have your uh green screen? Oh yeah, I'm hoping to have it done by tomorrow night. I really thought I'd have this wall done by Nerd Theory, but I ran out of glue and the store was closed. So I was like, awesome. Star Wars else. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Force goes to use force, force powers, powers not, not physical cool. weapons. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But how do we know that he's using a physical weapon? Maybe he's using a spiritual weapon. Maybe there's a, a spiritual certain... lightsaber. Yeah. Maybe there's something. I mean, we just don't know. We don't know. Sebastian says, what if the clones didn't betray the Jedi? Then a lot more Jedi would be alive. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> Palpatine wouldn't have won. Yeah, Palpatine would have been like, oh, dang it. I really thought that Order 66 was the one. Swear to God, if Anakin's first appearance in Ahsoka is him saying, hey, Snips, it's been a while, to mirror Ahsoka saying, hello, Master, it's been a while, I'll cry. Bro, we're all going to cry anyways. That's an interesting point she's bringing up, though, because I was pretty set that it would be flashbacks. But now, especially oh, I don't with think this so. Book, I think it's going to be ghosts. Now I'm starting to, yeah, like it's, yeah. Seems I think like we could even ghosts. see Ahsoka and Kenobi. Yep. I think we'll see Boba. I think we'll see... Tarkin, I think we'll see Cad Bane. I think we'll see Ahsoka. Mm. I've heard Kenobi is not necessarily that big on cameos, um, but you never know. There's still a lot of mystery around that, so they could they could maybe work that out. Be kind of fun. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Happy belated birthday theory. Love you guys. Just started a blog for people to come talk and learn about Star Wars. It's for a school project to bring people together. So I'd love a shout out, but I can't post the link here. Shout out, Jake. Right on. Shout out to Jake. Doing the Thank Lord's you, work, trying to get the people together to talk about Star Wars. Star Trek? Star Trek. Natalie Portman, back in Star Wars, please. Take my money. I'd love it, dude. I'd love for Natalie Portman to be back. Greetings from MT. Uh, what is that? Massachusetts? Mass Minnesota? Manitoba? No, no. Minnesota's MN. In Manitoba, maybe. Here's a question. How do you make the two realities sequel retcon marketable to casual fans who only watch the movies? How do you make the two realities sequel oh, retcon I don't marketable? think you really can because they don't care enough. So you could definitely do it. You could make it work. I mean, um, I'm trying to think of like popular fiction that has done this. I mean, technically Loki kind of plays around with this idea. Multiverse of Madness will probably play around with this idea. But the thing is, it's not that you can't get fans to accept it. It's that Disney's just not going to do that, bro. Like, they're just not interested in that. And, and they think that that would be like admitting <laughs> they totally screwed it all up, basically, you know? Montana, stupid heads. <laughs> A little sorry, man. Thanks, Dalen. I'm Canadian. I don't know. You guys, Yo. states. Yo, I would be so, I would be so surprised if somebody got this. Have you, I'm gonna say a quote, and I wonder if anybody will get this. Right. It, it's a cattleman's paradise to hear Jake talk about it, and he's talking about Montana. Anybody? And. Been a fan for a while. Thanks for being you, man. Oh, thanks, Dilbert. That's nice. Right on, Dilbert. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. Nice, nice comment. I like, I like nice comments. Yeah. Put a little love into the world, you know. Will Smith slapping Chris Rock says nothing. <laughs> Only ones upset about this will be OG trilogy fans. Yo, I am Donovan seventy three. Actually, got it. I can't believe it. Damn. John okay. Wayne, the Duke. No, it's a uh, lonesome Hotel dove. Rwanda. Yo, Rusty had it too. Lonesome Dove. Holy shit. Wow. Got some OG uh, Western lovers here. Huh. Hmm. Full power of Force Ghost feels like the Holdo maneuver to me. Granted, Anakin being the chosen one can be an explanation, but I'm like, nah. Yeah, fair, fair. We'll have to see. 
Yeah, look, it's definitely like I know what they're doing. They're just tr they're like tr trying to patch things up, but I am okay with that because I'd rather them come back than not. Yeah, hundred percent. I I, I just think focus on Ray and Finn and Poe. Like I don't want that. Yeah, I mean, there's ways to to look at it and frame it. I mean, obviously, yes there's an attempt to make things better but i mean what's the alternative do you want them to just make it stinkier or like make it <laughs> like i don't understand what just, like, yeah. <laughs> palpatine's back again and he cloned himself oh, he's no. making out with himself or like you know what i mean like what do you guys want <laughs> jesus <laughs> oh, oh, says, please don't make force go so powerful because it'll make the why haven't they helped the heroes in war plot hole uh worse and worse yeah unless there's an explanation for that <clears throat> you know what i mean yeah you got this one let's see here my fiance says just here to say these streams always make me laugh keep it up p.s if we get more peak anakin i'm gonna cry tears of joy yeah <clears throat> so i was like move we were moving in and i was listening to that video and when you when the you read the part when it was anakin she was like what yeah like yeah because we had just rewatched revenge of the sith on friday night because we couldn't get the freaking internet to work, so all we had here was uh, nice. DVD. So we watched. Yeah, that sounds good. That was a good time. Yeah, she's an Anakin fan. Oh yeah, all right. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, they're getting better. They're getting better. Hey, Dreamsy, love you too, man. Make a poll to see who in the chat wants to make Gary the sword and prove we can. God damn it, Brady. Damn it, Brady. We appreciate you. The sequels and how bad they were ruined everything star wars past return of the jedi for me it's sad but true hey i understand i i'm not gonna sit here and tell you that you're not having valid feelings i think that's fair i'm in a place where i'm like i want to love star wars again like really really badly and uh i, I would just for me personally would need something pretty compelling i i, I don't want to see just more of churning more of milking that cash cow i, I want to see story and i want them to be bold so any opportunity that i see for that to happen i get a little optimistic but tanner I, I feel you dog i feel you yeah tanner i'm fully with you man that's why i just i don't see the sequels as canon in my mind and i just see one to six as canon yo keep ray's ones. name out of your yo. fucking mouth yeah. Yeah, yeah i wish i liked it bro like you know I don't think anybody wanted that stuff to suck. No, man. I was so hyped for it. Are you kidding me? No. And Josh uh, the, says, uh, yeah. what if Anakin really did take the place of the Mortis father after his death and has to take holidays to show up as a Force ghost? <laughs> I mean, th I think there could be something there. Like, that is an interesting element of Anakin's journey. What if there's something to that? I don't know. Has to take holidays to show. <laughs> well, I mean, but what if he's what if when we see him with luke in this book he's projecting from mortis what if that's where they're going when he takes luke's hand what if they pop up on mortis you know what i mean like there's there's actually a way that could make sense i mean yeah it, the father they, they'd have the a lot son, of explaining to do though the daughter i just i don't think that's the right move i think they're I mean, dead is a, like the father what? to the son and the daughter what if the Skywalkers are the Mortis gods now? That's just weird, man. It's dude, it's hella weird. I'm not saying like it's it. not. No, I don't. I like don't it. know. I don't know if I. I mean, I'm kind of. Yeah. Then Ben's there and Mortis talking to the Skywalkers. I'm kind of down. <laughs> yeah, kind of down. <clears throat> Order the following Star Wars characters based on level of thicky: Unkar mm. Plutt, Bib Fortuna, As Morgan, and Orn Frita. Oh, Orn Frita. And then we got. That is. Who's Orn then Frita? we got. Then we got. Uh, I don't know. I forget, but I remember it's a. Uh, I just remember the name. And I'll I remember once I actually look at the. Oh yeah, it's this dude. Yeah, I knew he's thick. That's why. <laughs> oh yeah, that big boy. <laughs> yeah, that dude. Yup. See, I would say Orn Frita. Uh, I don't know who As Morgan is. Uh, Unkar Plut. Bib Fortuna. I'd say Bib Fortuna. No, Bib Fortuna is second. Orn Frita, Bib mm -hmm. Fortuna. Uh, who's As Morgan? Who is As Morgan? Oh, the dude from Clone Wars? Or is that Rebels? Wait, who is this guy? What? 
Emil Jablogian, who <laughs> was a slaver crime lord during the early years of the Galactic Empire's reign, who first appeared in Star Wars Rebels. Oh. I mean, he's pretty thick, but uh, he's got nothing on Bib. No, and, he's got nothing on Orn Frita, man. And Unker Plot is really not that thick. He's mm-hmm. he's like a little tubby, and then he's just kind of like he's just like a it's like a friggin' <laughs> he looks like candy corn. He's like a, you know what I mean? He's like a human or a living piece of candy corn. That's not big, thick. Big dude. Yeah. Yo, Cassian bought my Order 66 hat and wore my General Hello There shirt to Ultra Music Festival this weekend and got a ton of compliments. Nice, man. I love it. I love when you guys like wear the merch and then you just tell me about how many people saw it. Yeah. Props. I love that. And then you score big and and give it to some hottie, you know, and yeah, good for you. What? (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry. I was imagining like a cool, my bad. You're engaged. You can't say these things anymore. I was just saying that would be cool for him. You know what I mean? Like, yo, props to Cassian, man. If he's, well, he's got a he's got a freaking what is that, Mercia Lago? Yeah, he's probably pulling. He's but, he's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Big fan viewers, keep up the good work. Have you guys seen the new Cad Bane fan made f- film? If not, you guys should check it out. Very I saw something I saw about it. it. Yeah, yeah. Pop up. I mm-hmm. didn't watch it. Mm-hmm. I want to check it out. Should we watch it do a reaction someday? That'd be fun. 100 percent you think if the Death Star didn't destroy Alderaan or New Hope, Obi Wan would have seen Luke's training through till the end. Dude, is that the Tarkovsky uh, uh, Obi Wan there? Because that's, no, that's something hard else. as nails. That no, looks that's something else. I think it's whatever funny. that is, it looks hard, dude. That's cool. Um, Death Star didn't destroy Luke's training through to the end. <sighs> probably nah, probably not. Yeah, yeah probably, probably not. Would. Why not? Well, he would need Yoda still. Yeah, so he would have taken him over there. True. Or be like, yo, Yoda, get your ass over here. True. Yo, theory, best in recommendation. I read the Revenge of the Sith novelization, just finished it yesterday. Fantastic read, made me love my favorite film even more. Right? That's sick, dude. Dude. Maybe I'll yeah. pop that. Maybe I'll pop that on when I'm uh working on Have you while. ever listened to it? No, I can't say that I have. Oh, well, it's good, man. I hope that, yeah, probably has a sick audio book too. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. I'm it is good, my worthy apprentice. There are fans that called you a sellout and a fake fan in your comments because you like that synopsis. All fi- uh, size of the fandom is weird and toxic. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, look, you can speak to that, but I, dude, I get in almost every Star Wars video I get, I get called uh, a shill and supporter of Disney and then also get called super toxic. And then I am shitting on Star Wars and that um, I do it for clicks. But, I mean, uh, literally every single time. So it's like, Part for the course. Yo, some guys spamming coordinates in the chat. Where are those coordinates going? I don't know. I hope it's a pizza. I hope it's your house. That would suck. If it is my um, house, y'all better order some pizza over here. It's Dave Valley, California, USA. Aptos, near Aptos Creek. All right. I don't know what the relevance of that is. Yeah, San that's San weird. Jose. Maybe that's where uh, Sidious is hiding. Maybe. Maybe that's where the ne- next remnants of his fleet is being built. Uh, there were fans that called you a sellout and a fake fan in your comments because you liked that synopsis, all sizes of fandom. Ever. Oh, yeah, I don't give a shit, dude. People can call me whatever they want. At the end of the day, yeah. I am who I am. True. And that's the thing. You know, being on the internet, you're, you're like, if you have an opinion, people will throw you in a box. If you have a different opinion, people will throw you in another box. You can't just have an opinion. Yep. You're like immediately thrusted into this. <laughs> and then try changing your opinion too you know what yeah. i mean like like yeah. frankly both of us did because both of us liked rise and they were like mm, actually it sucks well and that's you yeah, know and, and, and it's like people people love to idolize characters and movies that change their entire personality like mm-hmm. uh, over the course of their character arc and that's totally fine and and admirable but if you as a human do that about a movie oh, can't do it can't do How that you possibly change your mind about something that is if nah man you were done as soon as I'm, a, make- I'm a sellout because i want to see more anakin skywalker yeah that makes me a sellout dude <laughs> dude I'd, I'd sell out for that shit 100 do you think that luke force chokes ahsoka probably yeah. <laughs> definitely probably in josh's little mind 100 percent, dude doing it right now missed you guys last week but i was shocked to see that luke soka thumbnail. <laughs> glad to see you guys are doing well long live nerd theory yeah last week was a fun show man that was pretty fun 
was pretty cash, you know, your birthday celebrating. You know? Yeah, it was chill, man. My mm -hmm. 16th birthday was on March 1st. I love this show. Awesome. Happy birthday. Right on, man. Are you excited for Sonic 2, Steve? That looks lit, dude. Did you see the trailers and stuff? I did not. Dude, what? No. Knuckles, bro. Oh, Knuckles, isn't it? Yeah. Ew. It looks cool, man. I'm 16. I love the prequels and hate the sequels. A lot of my friends feel the same way. Thanks for everything you guys do. You're both amazing with, I want to say, 20 exclamation points. Thank you, Aiden, Mike. Appreciate you. Thanks, Mike, Monk, Aiden. <laughs> That's what happens when you read chat. I know, right? Um... Yeah. It's not Shadow, it's Knuckles. And Knuckles was not stupid, Isaac. God. Hey, there, you've been a fan for a couple of years. I love you, man. Got me through so much, and I appreciate all you do for Star Wars. I appreciate all you do for me, man. Thank you for supporting me and watching my videos. And uh, I'm glad that they could have gotten you through some rough times. Hell yeah, man. Just That's keep on keeping on, man. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Hello there from Winnipeg. This is my friend. Did yeah. I get that right? Yeah, you got it, yeah. I see. I know things. Everybody shut your mouth. All right. Uh, this is my first super chat ever. And I just wanted to say thank you for all the content. I am security guard and having something to listen to a passion about is not so he might have sent a version of this before, but either way, Ace, uh, that's dope, man. Hope security goes well for you. I hope you don't have to slap anybody up uh on stage live at the Oscars. <laughs> I found your video on the excerpt from the new Luke book. Interesting. Do you think that this changes anything we previously knew about Force Ghosts? Yeah, I think, well, changes a lot. I mean, if you're coming back as a Force Ghost and you're wielding your lightsaber and you're jumping around, I mean, that's that's <laughs> kind yeah. of changing the whole premise of being dead. <laughs> it's a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to wait to see exactly what uh, it means. But, yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you literally are you wait, what did you say? I didn't mean to click it. Oh, okay. Uh you were trying to wait, what? I didn't mean to click that one. Damn it. So maybe uh, Anakin bringing balance to the force is not in the physical world. The chosen one brings balance in a cosmic force. It's possible. Mm, it's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like where your head's at, Michael. It's possible. Yeah. It is possible. It's a trap, says Darth Reba. Hey, Straw Hat. What's up, man? It says hey Theory and Josh. Hope you're both doing well. Love the stream. Thanks for the love, man. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Glad you guys like the stream. Yeah, we're starting to realize how much you guys actually enjoy these shows every Monday. And it's really nice because we love doing them. We have yeah, 100%, man. I mean, I feel like you and I have a blast on these. And it's just cool. It feels cool, man, that they're enjoying it. We're enjoying it. it yeah. Really cool. It's good. Just sit back and talk. And that's it. You know, nothing yep. scripted. Yep. Theory, have you ever thought about reading star wars for like audiobooks i really appreciate your style and i would love to hear you doing any and all star wars books oh it's nice of you man yeah if they ever hire me sure <clears throat> but i can't legally do that unless they hire you yeah yeah unless they hire me right or you like you know and they'd be like all we need you to do is just never talk shit about kathy kennedy for the rest of the time ever yeah <laughs> okay basically it's probably what it is like a deal with the devil man you know no my voice is like i like to be free i like to say what i want if something comes out and i don't like it i want to be able to say i don't like it and not be bought and i think yeah. the uh luxury of being on youtube and having the channel the size that it is uh, allows me to really do that 100 percent, not, not sell out even if it wasn't i would never sell out anyways but you know yeah it's it's, it's nice being in the position i'm in yep because everything's very authentic this way. Mm -hmm. But if Anakin had the same character arc and disobeyed the laws of Force Ghost world in order to save Luke and Leia. Whoa, I actually like that. And in doing so, he has to sacrifice himself and save them, which leads to Luke and TLJ. I mean, there's something there. There's something there, Matthew. I like that thought, man. It's kind of compelling. Whoa. It's kind of interesting, right? Huh. Like maybe he leaves Mortis and he's not supposed to or something, you know? Well, I'm, I'm not thinking about the Mortis thing, but I don't know. Again, it's all they're just trying to make sense of this shit story that they wrote that really bugs me. And and that's that's the only problem I have. Like I'm going to read it, but I'm going to just think this is all super fan fiction. 
Joe, I saw somebody say Anakin kills Force Ghost Younglings or something. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> wow. I hope so. Uh, Astro Pando says delivery drive while listening to my favorite Star Wars gang. Thanks for the content. Wish they just Astro. turn old. What? Astro Pando? Oh, no, I'm just saying, sup, Astro. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, old Republic into a Game of Thrones style show. Yeah, something like that would be super cool, man. That would but be super cool. There's a lot of room. Like that's what I th what I mean when I say this celebration is going to be lit, dude. Because there's so many things I think that they could. God, I hope it's not going to be another one of these. Like we're all really excited, and they don't even, you know what I mean? Oh, like, dude, and then they just destroy. Oh. It. It's going to have a bigger twist than the Emperor Strikes Back. Oh. Just sucking on green mm -hmm. movies, like <laughs> what? They do like a fan. <laughs> exactly. Thanks. Just Ryan. like that. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Been watching you for years, and this is my first super chat. I love your content theory and wishing you the best. These streams are really keeping me going. Sending love from Australia. Awesome, dude. I'd love right to on. visit Australia someday. Yeah. Me How's too. How's it down there? I'd love Anybody to else from Australia? In the I'd chat? love to go hunting in Australia, dude. I bet you can hunt some wild stuff in Australia. Right, but you'd get hunted in Australia. <laughs> oh, 100%, dude. If you not get by hunted the animals. in Canada, though. I mean, grizzlies are pretty savage, and wolves are too. I mean, you don't really hunt wolves, but. I know you have wolves on you. Yeah, you can't really you don't really hunt wolves. You kill them to survive if you run into them. But uh, yeah, I mean, like, dude, grizzlies will hunt a human. Yeah, absolutely. They'll just go, you're dead. Yeah. God, oof, that'd be crazy. Much love for the content, guys. With all the cloning that happened, is Exegol the Mount Tantis, or are they separating clone facilities in canon? I think they're separating. Because we got Mount Tantis and Bad Batch. Correct, yeah. So. Yeah, we'll have to see. There could be something there, but um, it's either connected to Thrawn, connected to the contingency, or maybe both. I don't know. We'll see. Perhaps, my prince. Dave definitely has George on speed down whenever he needs him, even if Disney doesn't know it. Yeah, 100%. 100%, dude. Yeah. <laughs> He like goes home, and he's like, no, I'm definitely not calling George. He probably like goes into the bathroom in the middle of a meeting, and he's like... It's like George, like what? Yeah, they just said this crazy shit. What, what should I do, you know? dude? They're trying to make Ray stronger than everybody. I'm like, <laughs> right? Like Dave, I sold it. I don't give a shit anymore. Josh, right. look at my DM on IG regarding my Anakin Force Ghost theory. I DM'd you earlier. Would love you and Theory's thoughts. Much love, guys. Hundred percent, Matt. I will definitely take a look at it. I don't want to totally derail the stream, uh, but I will take a look at that, bro. So thank you. Thanks, Matt you i despise the prequels i mean they were trash after all but i've learned to tolerate them main the younger generation will turn the wave in a decade or so once they grow up like you did and your gen did for the prequels yeah time will tell yeah it's possible i i think there's a fair bit i don't think that. so i mean dude we just don't know like you know what i mean like i don't think so i if i was like if i really didn't like the prequels i could see why he would have that perspective because i think for some folks they legitimately think the prequels are like really really bad like there are some people like you know maybe don and then jj that think the prequels are really really bad right and so it's possible that they can't even conceive why people like you and i like them and why more people seem to like them now so it's maybe we'll be those guys when the sequel love comes and we're, we'll literally be sitting back and be like i dude i don't get this shit at all but like there people are like dude yeah like they fly now i love it and we're just like for what but it's possible it's not outside of the realm of possibility stranger things have happened like Will so Smith my, my yeah. what i have to say about that is like you can like whatever you like dislike whatever you like dislike whatever you dislike but the one thing that you can't argue is that episode one to six was made by the same guy who created it mm -hmm. yeah episode seven eight nine was made by a bunch of dudes who I don't think really understood Star Wars. Yep, I agree. So it, it will feel disjointed. I mean, uh, the, like it's, we'll see what people say in what, 20 years? Yeah, what's well, the wait and see? 10 years, you know? So yeah, time will tell. We'll see, man. I don't and, think it's going to happen for me personally, but I, I could see it happening on the whole, you know? It won't happen for me, no. But I mean, uh, I'm not sitting here praying and being like, I hope people hate them when they grow up. It's like, no, it's irrelevant to me, man. I'm I'm my own person. I'll I'll dislike them for my own reasons, and whoever likes them, great. My yeah. thoughts don't impact yours, you know. So it's 
That's totally. the beauty of uh, <laughs> liking or not liking something. Like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oompa Loompa. Since we hear Ahsoka's voice in episode nine and Luke is one with the force, could episode 10 center on Luke training her in the art of blue ghost love making? What the? Okay. Oompa. Oompa loompa. Doopa yeah, dee doo. Sheesh. I just want to say that I love your podcast and what theory is doing for the Star Wars community. Greetings from Poland for stubborn Josh. Love you both. Hey, thank you, man. Nice, man. Thanks, bro. Appreciate Watch that. Watch out for your dupa. <clears throat> You're Polish, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Polish and Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. It's one yeah. of your peoples. Yo, the Slavs have fun, man. The Slavs have fun. Because make no sense your Jen save Star Wars after the prequels. That and Dave's cartoon work brought the older Jen back. Do you think? Do you think Clone Wars brought the older generation back? I think that it helped a lot of fans that didn't like the prequels to be a little bit uh, easier on them. Hundred percent. I, I do. Yeah, I do. Because I think that at the but the th the thing is at the time that star wars wasn't or the clone wars wasn't just a cartoon star wars show it was like the only star wars show so it was like right. fascinating that there was even star wars not in the theaters so it was good man it was a great yeah. great show yep mm -hmm. yeah we'll see what happens you know at this point star wars is going to keep growing bigger and bigger and bigger and there's going to be things that you like <clears throat> and things you don't like and before it was just the first six films and the Clone Wars mm -hmm. and games. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now it's yeah. like you know, freaking Star Cruiser Hotel, the the sequels, the Mando, Ahsoka, mm -hmm. Kenobi show, Aboba. It's like there's just so many different things. So it's like there's no way you can like all of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. There's there's even stuff like that happening in Marvel too, where it's like you know this Miss Marvel show, and it's just like, dude, that's this might legitimately be the first Marvel thing that I just I really feel is not made for me at all. But I'm not bummed about it because I have so much dope Marvel stuff that is for me, right. So Star Wars should get to that place because right yeah. now the when only a miss it feels really bad. The only issue with that is that when it conflicts with the already established lore. That's when I have a problem with it. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, whatever, make whatever stories you want. But if you're tying it into, you know, like sacred characters like Luke and Anakin and Obi Wan and Yoda and all that, then that's when it needs to be taken really seriously. Yep. But, anyways, you got this one? Seven, eight, and nine were not planned. Uh, had a new writer for every movie along with a new director. Can't do that with Star Wars. Also, they had Empire 2.0 come out of nowhere, even though Rebellion won the war. Yeah, 100%. I mean, Jake, you're not saying anything that we haven't talked about before many times. Appreciate the love and support. But yeah, 100%, bro. That's a big part of it. Big. And that's what they're doing now with the shows is they're explaining that transition between the First Order and you know, Empire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. Every fourth Saturday of July is International Cowboy Cowgirl Day, just so you know. What? Okay. So, right on. Uh, hats off to my cowboys and cowgirls out there. Josh is like, no. Mm. 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 DJ CC Rider with a ten dollar holla says, "We need a wise old samurai like Last Samurai to teach the Jedi to learn how to properly nurture the next generation of Jedi and raise a strong culture that embraces attachments." Love you guys and cheers. Yeah, something like that could be really cool if they do Jedi past that. I would love for Luke and maybe Anakin to be involved. So uh, yeah, that could be fun. I want some more Star Wars Visions. Star Wars Visions was lit, dude. <clears throat> yeah, well, that was cool. Some of it was. Yes. Some of it was, some yeah, of it was yeah, like, what? Yeah, like, yeah. Tatooine Rhapsody is one of the most absurd things I've ever seen. Yeah, I was like, not a fan of that. Like, I was like, what? So. Yeah, not my thing. Mm -hmm. Star Wars X, Force Ghost. <laughs> Force Ghost. Who are you going to call? <laughs> they all show up. Yeah. You just get kind sucked of into a vacuum. <laughs> I, dude, I'd love to see them all, like, hang out at some kind of, like, retirement home or whatever and being grumpy about the flavors of Jello or some shit. Like, it would be hilarious. I, I think it would be funny. Obi-Juan said he couldn't intervene. New plot hole. Yeah. If you well, face I think data, plot holes aren't plot really anything new in <laughs> at this point. Mm -hmm. 100%. You know, so, uh. 
Anyways, to theory, I'm a working actor out of Calgary. I know it's a long ways away, but uh, would you open your casting of the public fans to try out? Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Uh, still a long ways to tell what's going to happen. So, um, Yeah, I saw your video talking about the animation and versus live action i'll tell you though i think you're just gonna go live action i mean look you're gonna do what you're gonna do but i could just action. yeah like i could just feel in the video like you want to go live action i want to so. go live action yeah it's gonna take longer but mm -hmm. i i want live action mm -hmm. if i'm doing this once i want to do it right yeah hello boys. hello We're glad to have y'all back i've been waiting on this all week josh lovely orange shirt and theory those death star lights are a must cop looking forward to looking more into this anakin return what's up sajid thanks love that yeah. nice message man that's very nice and yeah i love i love this shirt this like yellow mustardy kind of you know i like that it's gonna have a good vibe so <laughs> Thank you, Star Wars Theory. For <laughs> I was going to say, too bad you don't have nice big boobies, man. <laughs> just... I should have. What if I did? Yo, like, what if I, like, did have just, like, <laughs> I would have, I would have, and I, like, came out and you were like, you have breasts. Like, you have actual breasts. What's going I, on hey, here? I would have been um, looking. Like meatloaf in Fight Club. Where I would have been like... looking. <laughs> 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 i'm a man yo fame for five says thank you star wars theory for my order 66 black and red i tag you on instagram about it big fan awesome dude right on. sorry i was reading uh some over one denobi says yoda jizzed on josh's wall what oh shit well <laughs> i mean it is obi-wan so <laughs> Worst people. Uh, guess, anyways, yeah. sorry, sorry, fam for fives. Thank you, Star Wars Theory, <laughs> for my order sixty six black and red hat. I tagged you on Instagram about it. Big fan. Oh, that's awesome, man. Thanks so much. I'll check it out. Yeah, you guys are. Uh, I'm glad you guys are liking the hats. I love them. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Force Ghost Obi Wan. I cannot interfere. Force Ghost Yoda makes <laughs> lightning burn down tree. Force Ghost Anakin ignites <laughs> lightsaber. I mean, it's a fair point. <laughs> A little bit of that <laughs> yeah uh, it is pretty funny that yoda like just burns it that you know it's I mean? just like, like yeah. yeah i will say as much as i don't like that movie it is quite hilarious when yoda says page turners they were not <laughs> talking about the jedi text that was some that was some pretty funny shit i i actually like that i hated that man because we have no inkling of the jedi taking poos or peas what do you mean? Taking poos or peas? He just said a page turner. Page turner is like when you're sitting on the toilet, no, and you're like page turning oh, the pages. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought a page turner just meant like something you really wanted to read, so you like really rapidly turning the page. That's the way I interpreted. Oh no, I interpreted it as you're like sitting on the can and you're just turning really? the pages and just doing your thing. Wow. Okay. Well, shit. It was that's, just like another joke. Like, like oh, come on. That's man. a totally different context than I thought. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? Creston says, for fuck's sake, Theory, that's not what that means. <laughs> you don't have to be so angry, man. Like, why you so, why you guys get so, so mad? mad? Yo, why you so mad, up. bro? Like, damn. Why like, can't you just be like, no, I don't think that's what that means, man. Like, for fuck's sake, Theory! You thought I was talking about turkey or shit? idiot! I oh, hate you! you. I'm subscribing man, forever! I can't fucking stand Fuck you! you. Yeah, holy that dude yeah. comes back. Yo, my bro wants to smash you, dude. I know, right? Fuck, kill you. Yeah. Right, I know, dude. Dude. Chill the fuck out. For that. Thoughts and <laughs> prayers for Chris Rock. Yeah. Hey, I think Chris is going to be all right. I will say this. Chris props fine. to Chris for not touching his face, feeling his He, Dude, he slapped the shit out of me. See that follow through and the way so he like, either, turned either, his hip? Like, bam. So either Chris Rock has a, a really good chin or Will Smith slaps like a peasant. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Or uh, take your pick. I don't know. I felt like Chris was a little messed up, though, because like, did you see like what he said afterwards where he was like, we're here to give away a documentary. And he was like, wait, no, we're here to give away an Oscar for a documentary. I was like, yo, well, he was just so shocked. Flabbergasted. Yeah, it's really like, did that just happen? And he's just trying to pull it together. You know what would have been wild if he would have knocked him out clean? That would have been like then with it's a whole different thing. You know what I mean? Like, we like, what if he just literally just like lights out? That would have been pretty. What do you mean? He like he got knocked out? Yeah. Well, he hit him with the open hand, but you know what I mean. But what if he would have just 
and like clean out. Like that's a whole different thing. And then they cut like, like when he was training for Ali. Yeah. Just like knocked him out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I understand it, but I feel like there could have been better ways to deal with that. Oh, 100 percent. I mean, like, he lost. It, I, bro. I would have rather Will Smith walked up on stage, took the mic and been like, you know what? My wife's been battling with alopecia and a disease that she can't control. And you as her friend know that. And that was a really insensitive thing for you to say publicly on live TV. I'd like for you to apologize right now. So that would me, destroy right. his ass. But part of me agrees with you, but part of me is like, that's some bitch shit. Like, go up there and slap. <laughs> slap you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, the, like, I'm sorry. I'm conflicted on this one. Like, part of yeah, me is like, me too. Yeah, you're, me you're, too. like, you're right. Like, yes, that's obviously. And like, look, we all got to say the right thing here. We all got to say, you know, I don't condone violence and, you know, blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, like, I don't know, bro. Like, I just feel like Will in general has been pushed around in the public sphere so much. And he just snapped off and he just had to remind everybody that he's from Philly and he just came up there. And <laughs> I mean, it's fucking crazy to think about, dude. He literally goes on live television <laughs> and slaps the shit out of somebody on stage, then walks off. The walk he had was some of the most gangster shit I've ever seen. He just like, like, he's just, he's just, he's just like, he's like, do something, you know? And then he's like, he's dropping F bombs. The man won't put an F word into his own rap verses. And he's dropping F bombs on live TV. Oh, snapped, like, it's just, bro. it's mind blowing. It's my, it's mind blowing. So, he snapped. Like, I don't I don't like his wife. I don't I do not like Jada. But yeah, I don't think I like Will I think Smith. She, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I feel like she's definitely hung him out to dry with these comments and some of the stuff and like all the red table bullshit and all yeah, that. Yeah, dude. Um, you don't say that, man. You don't say that about your husband. Yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah, it's weird. Um, I'm not a big fan of it either, but uh ultimately, you know, I think that that's maybe part of the frustration on his end too, is that we see that, right? We see the the conversations on social the videos and everything like that but we're not there we don't know what that arrangement's actually like we don't know what the family's actually doing and mm -hmm. will's done a lot you know he's done a lot for a lot of different folks uh, including his wife and uh he feels very strongly about defending his family and uh Good and him. all that you know what i mean and, and look all that's super admirable the man the man had a very human moment you know, and I just think it's I mean, ultimately, I sort of just fall on the side of like, it's hilarious. You know, like, it's not that deep. Um, there's other things going on. I literally couldn't care less about the Oscars. I didn't watch any of it. I don't care at all, at all, at all until Will Smith did that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, dude, like, yeah. Well, the rating people were probably like. Dude, there were producers that were probably like, oh, my God. This is the best it's thing the ever. It's the greatest night of my fucking life. <laughs> so I'm going to suck Will Smith's dick myself. This is fucking amazing. You know, just like because they're 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 not doing well with the ratings, you know. Chris Boulder says E Aviation. Hmm? Uh, if you guys could be an Easter egg character in a Star Wars open world game, what kind of character or Easter egg would you be? What? <laughs> what? I don't know. I, I feel like there's gotta be a loss. There's gotta what be a, the, what kind like of, are you talking about what kind of candy or some shit I wanna be? Like is that what we're talking about here? Easter egg or something? Kind of how do you even answer something like that? I don't know. I'd I'd, I'd wanna be Anakin in I don't how do you even answer that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how to read it. <laughs> to be honest, I like, know, man. Omni Man, like, much love, bro. But I have no <laughs> idea what you're saying. Keep my name. Out of thanks, thanks for the laugh, man. I mean, yeah, I guess I would want to be like Darth Vader or something, and, and something. I'd be a hard boiled egg. There you go. I don't know. Do you guys do not know what an Easter egg? Is yes, I For do. For fuck's sake, theory. Oh no, here your, your b hole says you fucking idiots. <laughs> do you not know what an Easter egg is? Jeez, like guys. a cameo. Yes, y'all are gonna, dude. Y'all are clowning on Will Smith. You, you have obviously you're you're pretty on edge yourself here, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, you're everybody's just one bad day away from being Will Smith. That's the lesson. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. 
I guess I would want to be Darth Vader. Yeah, he went from Uncle Phil to Mike Lowry real quick. Do you like my profile pick theory? Yeah, it's great, man. It's me deadlifting 600 pounds. That's you? That's me, yeah. Oh, my God. You look literally like you're about to burst, dog. I'm lifting 600 pounds. What do you, like, I, I would think so. I guess. I don't know how that works. I'm just saying you look. <laughs> that, doesn't look <laughs> that doesn't look good. That doesn't, that doesn't look healthy, bro. Well, blood pressure is probably very yeah. high at that moment. Yeah. Yikes. Well, I'm well, glad you made it. I want to see what anyone else looks like when they're lifting 600. Bro, I tell you what, I would look like just like a tomato. <laughs> like, yeah, no, I'd be dead. My arms would be like ripped off and shit. Yeah. I train for it. Quick theory considering Palps possibly got Shmi pregnant with the force, <laughs> is it possible that in future shows, movies, the, the bring this idea back, but have Luke use the physical force to. <laughs> Dang, bro, he went in. He went all around. Man. Yeah, he went all Jesus. around there. That was a, that was a journey. Felt Damn. like going to Epcot. Holy Damn. <laughs> Just got to say, you guys are the best, says Michael Rubin. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate that. <laughs> They're wild. Mm. They're wild theory. Uh, gosh. For right. sake, that's not what page turning. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just reading this, just reading the messages, being like, "I love your angry fan voice." <laughs> um, long time viewer, first time super chat. Just got my blue sixty six hat. Let's ride. You ever answered the question about the? Oh, jeez. Oh man, no, I don't think we did. Thanks for buying the merch, man. I uh, appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. Appreciate that. If Luke was trained by Anakin and not Vader, or Anakin slash not Vader, do you think he could rival Mace, maybe even Yoda? Yeah, of course. Oh, dude, Luke would have surpassed all of them, I think. <clears throat> Luke's strong. <laughs> Will Smith slaps harder than the entire sequel trilogy, 100%. Ray is God. Ray is Chosen One. Ray is Star Wars. No ghost Anakin. Thank you. Kennedy. I'm happy you're happy, Lachlan. Appreciate 100%, that. Lachlan. Couldn't agree more. Thank, thank you, man. Love Kathleen Kennedy, man. Holy crap. Was just playing KOTOR 2 again. Was Kraya right? Does the Force make life worse for average collect citizens, or is it a net negative? It's an interesting philosophy that she has on that. I, I think there's something in there. I think she's smoking. Smoking hot, smoking babe. reefer. <laughs> smoking hot, blind old lady. Whew. Gonna, gonna be, be a lot, lot of butt. butt hurt people when Anakin is a force illusion or something. <laughs> this oh is just an God. excerpt to get people interested. It could very well be. I mean, could they really? I mean, are they just <laughs> God? Are they doing it again? Could you imagine? Ah, gotcha. Yeah, theory, big fan, and I hope to meet you at celebration. Ah, oh, wave, I won't be there, man, but uh, I'll meet you in spirit. I'll, I'll, I'll force ghost my project myself like Luke did. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then I might die. Yeah, man. Then be like, see you around, kid. And then you're out. And I'll. I love that he's coming back. Matt did an incredible job with Anakin Clone Wars. Annie was always how I thought he should be an absolute walking contradiction that makes you want to hug him and smack him. Yeah, I think that's fair. Why do a lot of people think that Clone Wars Anakin was how they wish Hayden would have acted? I think I think Clone Wars Anakin was much more of a optimistic and happy Anakin, which we saw glimmers of. But Revenge of the Sith is really his darkest and most doubtful self right before he becomes Darth Vader. So I think he needs to be as dark as he can be. Yeah, I think some of it has to do with the timing because it's post Attack of the Clones and pre uh, Revenge of the Sith. So it's just a good timing. Uh, with the character yeah so you know maybe that has something to do with it i also think ahsoka is an important part of that as well and you get to see anakin in a light you really don't in the films with ahsoka yeah. which is a little bit more of like a brotherly mentor you know kind of a thing you don't really see that element in uh the movies so maybe that's why mm -hmm. 
You guys going to celebration? No, we're not. No, we're not. We don't really even like Star Wars that much, so you know. Yeah, no, we just do this for money. We're, we're just, just making much, it up. We just make. Yeah, we just. Pretend. I got wiki. I got a wiki open up right now because I'm like, yeah. who are these people? What's a Skywalker? Yeah, I don't even know. I got a guy feeding me information. That's why these are so big because I actually have like a an earbud in there and it's like a whole team. I'm actually listening to a baseball game, so. Uh, Melvin, what's up, theory? Josh, they aren't resurrecting Ben Solo. Whiny voice, Raylo ain't happening. Well, Knights of Melvin, you'll be the first call I make when it's announced. I'll be like, yo, Melvin, drinks on you, buddy. <laughs> you know? uh, Darth Otto, you said. Wait, you, from- you want that? You want Raylo? Uh, absolutely. I mean, look, Raylo is, here's the thing, like, obviously Raylo's, everybody just, everybody's heart just sank, everybody's just like, ah! here's the thing, I'm going to say something that at first will seem a little controversial, but I think you'll <laughs> actually come around to understand. Here's the deal. Raylo is the most compelling thing in all of the sequels. It's the only original concept in all of the sequels. And they fucked it up. You know, it's ridiculous in episode nine, but it's, they should have literally went all in on Raylo. If Ray takes Kylo's hand at the end of TLJ, it is probably one of the most interesting things that's ever happened in Star Wars. Stick that in your, your pipe and smoke but she it. Didn't, but she didn't take his hand. No, I know. I know. Just saying. Am I pro Raylo in the sense that I think those two together is compelling and interesting? Absolutely. Um, I don't think they should go off and, uh, you know, be together in like a sitcom kind of situation. But yeah, absolutely. I think Raylo is pretty compelling. Hmm. It is compelling. It would have made things, I guess. They should have went for it. They should have went all in on it. I mean, like Revan and Bachelor are cool, you know, and there's something compelling about that. And they like kind of like dance around it. And in nine, they like, like yeah. in nine, in nine like they, yeah. okay. they skip all over it. They, you know what I mean? Like they just shove them together and the kiss, this kiss feels so unearned and so dis- it's, it's so, so stupid. weird. Yeah. Yeah. It felt like yeah. a brother and sister kind of thing. It's so stupid. Star Wars is used to. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, no, I I would absolutely be down for Ben uh, coming back and uh, yeah, getting that. Because uh... look, Ray's a little baddie. Like, you know what I mean? Like she's the thing is, yes, she's a badly written character. Yes, she's a Mary Sue. Daisy Ridley's also a baddie, dude, you know? So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I'm just saying it, you know, <laughs> what do you want? Josh just wants all the characters to get together. Luke and Ahsoka. Kylo and Ray. Who's next? No one's safe. For the Oscars, it was the live action Disney princess actresses who said this while presenting the award for best animation. I oof was Bro, pissed. Bro, what? what? It was the live action Disney princess actresses who said this? Who? Isn't like Beauty and the Beast one of the first animated movies ever to win an Oscar? I don't know, is it? Do they not know their history? I don't know, bro. Have they never seen Toy Story? Have they never seen Lion King? I mean, come have on. they never felt a thing? Do they not have a heart? Who are these? Uh, Darth R2 says, Josh, I'm moving to Philly with my wife uh, so she can get her PhD at Temple. Uh, been there a bunch, but never lived there. Any advice? Love you guys. Thanks. Thanks you'll get it. Me. You'll get it pretty quick. Um, you'll get it pretty quick, man. Philly's an interesting town. You got to sort of have your guard up a lot. Um, but at the end of the day, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of love, like the brotherly love thing is real. And a lot of people that don't have brothers or have never been around brothers don't know what that means. It's basically that you beat the shit out of each other, like hate each other. But when shit gets real bad, you'll be there for each other. So like people Philly's such a weird town. Philly is a town where they'll hold the door open for you, uh, at Wawa to like, you know, get you out. But then if you cut them off or pull out in the parking lot, like, before them it's gonna be like will smith chris rock so (laughs) it's a very interesting town but i i think the town has awesome character man and you'll you'll like it you'll like it a lot anybody here from philly type p if you're from philly 
never been. That's cool. It wasn't okay. even the Academy, but my presenters, but the presenters themselves, actors, filmmakers, who should know better saying children love and adults endure animation. Oh, children love and adults endure. Oh, what? The presenters. Yeah. Man, what the hell do they know? I hate when people speak in absolutes. Like, yeah, bro, it's subjective, man. You can, ah, whatever. I'm late. Did you all see the news about Matt Lanter having an emergency surgery? His wife issued a statement. Yeah, oh, do we right. know? We do we know what it's about now? Hope he's okay. Yeah, I'll look it up real quick. Okay. Yo, Eric. Hey, Theory and Josh. This is my first super chat, and I have a few tokens on Audible. I want to use on a Star Wars comic book, a Star Wars comic slash book. But I didn't. I don't know what's canon and what's legends. Do you all have recommendations or personal favorites? <clears throat> Master and Apprentice, Dooku Jedi Lost, Plagueis. Uh, let's see. Revenge of the Sith is great. Um, why don't you try Labyrinth of Evil? I like to think it's canon. It's not, but not anymore. But it was canon when uh, George was around. So for me, that makes it canon in my head. And it takes place just before Revenge of the Sith. So you can try that. Hmm. So uh, <clears throat> on the note of Matt, yeah, so he had a, he got sick Tuesday, ended up in emergency surgery Thursday of last week. The latest update is that he it still has an uphill battle, so prayers are still like asked for. This is all like coming via his wife. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the latest we have. Uh, so, so we don't know what it is. We don't know. Yeah. Poor guy. Yep. He's young, man. Yeah, he's young. Shouldn't be having to go through that shit. Yo, he was really good in um that Netflix show, Jupiter's Legacy or whatever. Oh, I haven't seen. I saw yeah. him in 90210. Back in the day. I actually really enjoyed that show, man. Mm -hmm. Like for real. I, I thought that was a very entertaining show. I gotta be honest, I really don't remember it. I feel like I saw it maybe once, but I don't like 2008, really... 2009. Mm -hmm. I saw it in 2000. 12 that's when I, yeah. I watched it on netflix cool and i was like obsessed with it. that's like the one show i've watched twice hey it was super popular i mean it was entertaining as hell right? man it was super entertaining it's just yeah it was great Love i'm rewatching the the boys with uh with my fiance that, oh awesome uh, yeah we out. yeah we're pumped man we are super pumped for season three so should mm -hmm. be cool mm -hmm. thoughts on the halo tv show i don't know i haven't really read into it I yeah, I haven't heard good things to be honest with you. I do want to eventually check it out for myself, but just with the move and everything, like I I don't have time to go out of my way to try to watch a Halo show that frankly doesn't have a lot of positive word of mouth. So we'll see. <clears throat> Who's sexier, Ahsoka or Omega? Um, Bib Fortuna. Hundred percent, Jabba. I would say. Did you see the deleted Batman Joker scene? I did. Yeah. Thoughts? Yeah. What'd you think about that? It's okay. I'm just thinking that's a hard motherfucker to look at. I'm not trying to watch that for a two hour movie, dude. That's an ugly dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's cool that he fell into the acid and they're making it believable. But, um, yeah, I don't know. He'll probably look different when he has the makeup on. Hopefully. Because he is <laughs> scarred up. Hard to look at, man. Well, he fell into acid. You know, he's still got more hair than me. Yeah, I'm just saying Hollywood that shit up, bro. I'm not trying to look at that for two hours. That's all I'm saying. You see the deleted Batman Joker's in his thoughts. I love how he spelled thoughts. I know, right? Funny. Theory, can you be my Grogu? Uh, if you can be my Din. <laughs> what if the first fight we get between Obi Wan and Vader is backlit by neon lights of Dayu? Having multiple colors shine off of Vader's shiny black suit would be really cool. It'd also be, be cool. really difficult for VFX. True. Yeah. I think it's going to be on that public transport thing, but uh, we'll see. I mean, there's there's a lot we don't know about it. So yeah, I don't think it'll be on Tatooine. So yeah, yeah, and yeah. I don't think it'll be in the same place twice. Yeah, I doubt that. That would be super weird. Two different planets, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Smoke or snow? Monsieur probably. Paradis. He's probably saying uh, Snoke here could have been Darth Plagueis figuring out how to cheat death. And in return, F you to Sidious for betraying him, uh, building the First Order in secret on Exegol. Something like that, you know, could be cool. They'd have to work around a lot of what happened, but yeah. Well, I mean, they also got a species wrong, so. 
can't really be uh, Plagueis anymore. Yeah, I mean, he's. I think it'd have to be. He. I, yeah, I don't think it'd be literally him. Yeah. Yeah. If Ahsoka watched Luke, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, he almost had it though. Right at the end, he does. Now it's anything Ahsoka. I'm. I'm weird. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jensen Baker says, "All right, Josh, you did this theory. Start misquoting Josh for me. Anytime you think of something he told you, say something different. Love you though. Yeah. So this is a whole thing. It's a, it's a whole inside joke that I have to explain. But earlier in the chat, I said that Jansen said that it was thirty-seven years. He didn't actually say it. Okay. All right. I just like to have fun, man. I just like to joke around. Thanks, you know? Jensen. Jeez." Got my blue 66 hat and NT shirt this week. Yeah, he got his Nerd Theory shirt. Could the new comic relate to the force field Grogu is in on the Seeing Stone in Man of Season 2? Yes. You mean the new book? Yes. Probably. Yeah, for sure. For show. Show. For show. For show. For show. Look beyond your fanboy. Yeah. Usually takes some time for that to pass. Says the guy that's like ripping a bong in his picture right there. Uh, Luke's snow car is best ship in Star Wars. What? Luke's snow car? What's that? I'm not talking about the snow speeder, is he? Maybe. I mean, it's a pretty cool ship. I like it. Darth Nihilus. Yeah, Sawyer's favorite character. Happy birthday, Andrew Johnstone, you big nerd. Happy birthday, Andrew. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> So he sends this, and then in the regular chat, he says, read it, bitch. <laughs> kind of like that. Like, what the... I know, right? <laughs> A guy named Bing Bong says, don't judge bong rips. Yeah. Yeah, we got Joel in chat. You guys are trash. You guys are dog shit. Well, actually, I like to be Bantha shit, but I mean, if I could be yeah. any shit. Dinosaur shit. Mm -hmm. cool. Plus, what kind of dog is it? Is it like a Newfoundland Mastiff that's like... The biggest shit you've ever seen. Big shit, or is it like a little chihuahua where it's like a little, you know, like what kind of, I want to know what kind of shit. Are I want to be geese shit, dude. Just disgusting green and black. <laughs> Just slimy. Like, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Just you know, gets shit is nasty, dude. It's like, yeah, what's what up with you the guys Why is so oily? What do they eat, dude? You're like stepping it and you're freaking, you don't yeah. even need rollerblades. You're just, yeah. Whee! Yeah. My dog likes to eat geese shit. Oh, really? Yeah. So as we walk and I just see her like chewing gum and I'm like, what are you doing? And it's just, oh, she, no. Oh, like, no. Ugh, that'd be rough for sure. She loves it. Yeah. I hear there may be a scene where Ahsoka get. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny, dude. Ahsoka had so much potential, man. So, yeah, he yeah, did. 100%. And, and was everyone, cool. was, everyone was so excited about him. And, and why just... did he have to be so damn cool in The Last Jedi? Like when he's bouncing the lightning off the floor. I was like, that is dope, dude. Yeah, it was dope. Because <clears throat> shooting lightning straight at the guy is too mainstream now. You gotta bounce it, dude. Of course. I mean, like, come like, on. Style hey, points. Kylo, Yo, you stand three quarters of an inch to your right, please. Dude, oh, he okay. should have done him behind the back. <laughs> yeah, like the magic <laughs> Luke <Lugia laughs> just... Yeah, that'd be fire, dude. Love it. Uh, would you ever make a film about Luke and Ahsoka's love child being the most powerful force in the galaxy and also have it star Josh? Yeah. Let's go. It's a little off topic, but I've been really interested in Darth Nihilus. Is there any chance you can make a video on him? What do you think? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask Soria to write it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it. she hates him so much. Yeah, why does she hate him? I don't know, bro. She hates him. like Galactus or whatever? Yeah. Uh, that guy who played Cal Kestis. <laughs> I've been sucked to you both <laughs> for years. <laughs> Here's and love your content. What if Luke sitting on the seeing stone is actually... <sighs> oh, my God. Kenobi, episode dude. one idea. Luke gets on the wrong plane like... <laughs> oh, yo. That'd be hilarious, dude. Did you see his profile picture? It's pretty funny. No. Oh no. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Peter B. Parker says, watch Game of Thrones for the first time. Just binge seasons three to six in the last nice. few days. Wow. The show is so effing brilliant. 
Would you want those writers on Star Wars? Bro, no. Just, just, <laughs> I'm sorry to do this to you, Peter. <laughs> I am sorry Keep to do this to you, bro. As far away. <laughs> but just wait till the next couple of seasons. <laughs> you're going to be like... You're gonna look back at the super chat and be like, ah, oh, no, next week, next yeah. week, he's gonna be like, guys, I fucking hate them. It, oh, it, but that's why, because you're right. Great. The, the the beginning of the show, the middle of the show oh. is incredible. And then, oh, that's good. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's, uh, yeah, you'll see. You'll, you'll love the ending. Yeah, you'll love it, dude. You'll love it. 1313 with damage control uh i don't know brother probably, probably not, not man it's, it's over do you think those are rex's legs in the kenobi trailer love the great content hope to see the skywalker family kicking butt as force ghosts may the force be with you thank you ed cool. love the batman superman um i don't know but it looked like a clone yeah i look i'm probably just being a fanboy about it but yeah i think it could be uh rex uh, a lot of people have told me no <laughs> about that but you know me so i'm still holding out hope man you know maybe it'll be rex and everybody will be wrong you know <laughs> when luke was constructing his lightsaber after anakin's was lost he... oh shit wow that was clever. clever the significance of the og and pre... you know the amount of money that we've made from people from luke soka just I mean, it's kind of fan fiction, fictioning erotic Luke Soka is. I know, and it's <laughs> it's a meme that like took on a whole life of its own. You know what I mean? I don't uh, even remember the first time I said it. I think I recall saying because I think it was like a prequel meme thing that they were like they hated so much, and I was like, oh, I know this will trigger some people, and so then I started doing it and stuff. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. What a world. Uh, shout out to Joel. He says, stop talking about Star Wars. I think you came to the wrong channel, man. Yeah, you, you, you've you misclicked, sir. Yeah, you've misclicked. Yeah. He says, Star Wars is bad for your health. Huh? It's not wrong, actually. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's too late for me, son. Did we read this one, Keegan? The significance of the OG the and the prequels was the discovery of the Force afterlife sequels missed huge opportunity to have ogs protect yes the sequels. yeah yeah that's that's a fair point actually keegan yeah i mm -hmm. like that yeah that's why i want to just bypass 79 and you know 100 yep jason jang with a 10 dollar that says they need to bring back more force factions maybe a plenty of people who worship mortis at all who got genocide by jedi and wiped the records of the archives yeah i would i'm obsessed with this idea i would love more sects or versions of the jedi i i would be super down uh read obi-wan denobi's uh messages yes josh wears toe rings no but you'd love to find out wouldn't you, you sick fucker <laughs> remember when they were all about it they were trying to get these feet pics man i think i'm gonna turn on members only soon <laughs> <laughs> yeah man yo, uh, good looking feet though you know yo members yo where you guys at do you want me to turn on members only so you guys can use your uh, emojis yeah they need to bring back more force factions maybe a planet of people who worship mortis a all who get genocized genocized genocided by the jedi and wipe the records from there it's dark man i'd love it though Palpatine hires the Ghostbusters to cap Anakin. Yo, it'd be pretty funny, dude. Currently listening to your stream while playing Battlefront. Lol, again, you're my favorite Star Wars content creator, and thanks for being you. Hey, thanks for listening to us, man. Yeah, thanks. Glad Stuart. you enjoy the show. I hope you're shitting on some kids right now. Yeah. We know uh, the studio pushed back on Hayden and Kenobi. Do you really think they'll bring him back repeatedly in series and movies? Oh yeah, bro. Just wait till you see the fan reaction to Hayden coming back. Yeah, man. It's going to be like Luke times 10. Because Chapek's going to go over to Kennedy and basically be like Mr. Krabs and be like, hello, I like money. Yeah. And that's it. And so, Kathy's yeah. going to be like, well, I think we should go with a different approach here. Why don't we cover something nothing to do with Star Wars? What if or rather we let's just hire the this possibility of hating random guy that we have never seen before, actually this random woman that we've never seen before, and have her redo the entire prequels and the originals, and that's gonna be the new canon. 
And that character will be played by Brie Larson. Fade in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably. Pretty much. And uh, let's see, what's the other? What's that comedian everyone's always uh, saying she steals jokes? Amy so, Schumer? Yeah, right. Yeah, she was at the Oscars last night, too. <sighs> oh, yeah? Man, yeah, everyone was, was there. I didn't see I anything know. else. I surprised people didn't come up on stage and slam the shit on her, too, bro. Like, what would she whew. say? She says something bad? I just think every time she opens her mouth, I feel like coming up on stage and... Yeah. She's a she's a super annoying person, dude. Like yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. Incredibly annoying. I'm not a fan. Uh happy belated from a fellow Canuck. Love your channel and recently joined Den of Nerds. You guys are the best. Theory, would you consider making Flex Fit Order 66 had do it? I would love to, yeah. I mean I don't know if they I don't think they offer that, so I would have to do it myself and I would need to clone myself for that or hire mm. somebody clone somebody on exegol yeah that seems to be the thing these days i feel like the force ghosts not helping the heroes in a war is similar to the eagles not flying frodo to mortar to destroy the ring the explanation sure. isn't as important as the story itself in my opinion or why didn't hermione just use that time travel thing to go back and stop voldemort from doing the horcruxes from, from being born yeah like there's a lot of that kind of stuff in storytelling and the reason is because it would be a shitty story. <laughs> you know, like, why didn't they just finish it on page two? Why didn't they just not write the story? Because it's not a fucking race. That's why. Jeez. Palpatine told Anakin to cheat death as the power only one has achieved. Who was he referring to? Did you know about Qui-Gon? He's referring to Plagueis. Yeah, he's referring to Plagueis, 100%. <laughs> I love how he's like, yeah, it can totally be done. And then when Anakin slices off his like, hand, he's like, well, I may like, have gotten ahead of myself a little bit. But there. if we work together, yeah, dude, Anakin to literally should have been like, what? It's like, you, dude, you told me you knew. Yeah, he's like, man. he's like, well, not really. Hundred percent, dude. Funny side story or skid? What if a clone or stormtrooper trash talked Anakin Skywalker to Darth Vader? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that clone funny. would get yeah, that clone gone. He did. It's like that undercover boss thing that they did with Kylo. Yeah. It was pretty funny, actually. Yeah. Max Rebo will survive them all. He might. Darth Rebo. <laughs> Ahsoka can't show up in Kenobi. She can't know that Vader is Anakin until Rebels and Kenobi would tell her. Would he, though? Hmm. I guess that's kind of fair. Would he know? Yeah. yeah. I want a standalone 30 episode, one hour per episode series of Rose Tico's adventures with supporting characters Finn and Admiral Aldo. Nice, you, dude. It's you and, and only you. you and those three <laughs> friends of yours on the couch right now that are super hyped up. Uh, who do you think is packing the most in Star Wars? Um, Jar Jar. Dex. Yeah, Dex too. Yeah. yeah Dex or Jar Jar. Why his pants are so low? It's because it's, it's got to have that extra length at the bottom. Yeah. Because it'll just roll out the the bell bottoms there. Yeah, when Jar Jar said that he was clumsy, it was because of the extra weight of that hammer he's, he's swinging around. He's off you know? center, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. he's like, me so clumsy because of me so bad. <laughs> 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 oh shit uh in iso don't usually get to watch live due to work and time differences in australia theory any good exercises for muscle building when stuck with no equipment pump for kenobi nerd venger for life yeah just ask jar jar uh yeah easy man just do um do some push-ups do some uh some sit-ups do some squats with your body weight or you can just like hold a i don't know Hold a bag of books or a bucket of water. Um, Arnold used to do something with Franco in the old days. Where I mean, I guess you don't have another person, but you could. There's a uh, Google how to uh, Google the, the the towel workout. Whoa, it's like a cable kind of thing that they did. Mm, Almost you like can even do it by yourself. You can do it by yourself even, but you can. Actually, I don't even know how you would do it by yourself. Hmm. But you could take two towels and then like put them on the floor for push ups, and you can do like flies mm. and just kind of slide them and shit and yeah. um, go one up, one down, just stuff mm. like that. Simple stuff, just make sure you're getting your protein in. Cool. I love you, dude. I wish I can sit down with you and play Star Wars Episode 3 co op. Keep being you. Thanks, fantastic. Appreciate Very it. Very sweet. It's yes. Very nice. 
Very nice message. Thank you. No Thanks, message. JJ. Appreciate no message. it. <clears throat> Chateau Knight. That's a cool, uh, cool little image there. It says, I wish to see what a version of Star Wars that Anakin was given a second chance, beginning when Sidious told him he was a Sith. Interesting. So almost like a uh, the ghost of Christmas past, like comes and brings Anakin to that moment or something. That's interesting. I wouldn't want that. <coughs> yeah. No second chance is no Josh, it's okay to be Disney Shield, just not publicly. No, I know. Look, these checks are obviously doing that. really good. Look at this fancy green screen we got. You know, this is what know. shit. Oh, you, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nice, bro. Mm. G.I. Jane on Movie Bros. I've actually never seen it. Have you? I think when I was a kid. Yo, she was jacked for that film, dude. Uh, she looks great anywhere. No, yeah. dude, she was in the she was jacked in was jacked. scripties. Oh, for real? Okay. Jacked. Good for her. Good for her. Like the her legs were just literally muscle. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah, that's right. Mm, yeah. What's your favorite Anakin Skywalker moment from the live action films and Clone Wars? Uh, when he was going to save his mom. That's a good one. For me, it's like you know, it's obviously the Jedi Temple uh, or <laughs> when he's got kids. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew Vasquez says, uh, "Josh, please read my full Force Ghost Anakin theory in your IG DMs. Delve into more there. My IG is Maddie V. I will, Maddie. I know. I saw. I saw your other super. Maddie, chat, he so will. will. Josh is will. a very busy man, so he, you know he he'll, he'll. I'm sure he'll get to it when he can. Yeah, I'll get to it, and uh, probably next time I'm taking a big old dump. I'll get on there and see what largest you're going phallus on. max rebo boss nas or dex right. mm, boss mass brass nas have you guys seen the pitch meetings about the star wars movies hilarious i have not i have not either i like pitch meeting a lot though it's a great concept yo theory love your content <laughs> thanks uh first time donating just wanted to say keep doing what you're doing and your videos have helped me get through some hard times thanks for all you do Thank you, V the Awesome. Very interesting cat you got there, my friend. <laughs> cat looks like Richard Gere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously doubt that kids today will grow into liking the sequels. Ben Shapiro showed his kids four and six and all nine movies, and they were not into the sequels. Yeah, I've, had don't a say. I've had a few people here uh, be like, oh, my! I showed my daughter the sequels, and they didn't like it. Hmm. So I don't know, man. I think it's subjective. And then there's a lot of people who go with their kids and their kids freaking love it. So what are kids like these days? Like, what are kids even really into? I don't know. I don't know. It's such a different time. Like, yeah, we grew up without cell phones, without the Internet until we were like, what? Eight. Nine? Chat, let us know, man. What are kids into these days? Like, what are what are the kids be? be TikTok? Liking? I, don't know. I guess. Yeah. Like, that's. It's weird to say, but I guess kids like Mr. Beast. Right. Like I had those, uh, we had those Mr. Beast chocolate bars. Cause like me and my fiance really like Mr. Beast I actually might start working with a company that he, uh, works with actually too. But, oh, um, yeah. And, uh, my buddies, when he saw the chocolate bars, he was like, dude, I got to bring these home to my kids. Like his kids are like that into Mr. Beast. I was like, okay, cool. You know, kids are really into YouTubers, um, older <laughs> folk. <laughs> Not so much. No, <laughs> they're no. like, well, what is that? Well, you're a degenerate. Like, oh, yeah. No, okay. GTA Fortnite. I guess Fortnite's true. Yeah. Uh, what if the book excerpt is Force goes Anakin going through the world between worlds with Ahsoka? Might be a where did he go in the Ahsoka show episode? I hope not. I hope not. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be the way though. Yeah. I hope not. Harry Potter, Roblox, and Pokemon, bro. What are you talking? Mm, Harry that was Potter. Like, that was I don't think kids. Yeah, Roblox. I don't think kids these days. Are Many kids days. these days in the Harry Potter? I don't think so. <clears throat> I think they are, man. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I think they actually are. Harry Potter is just growing and growing. Wow, interesting. Especially Star Wars Ghost piece, yeah. said, "Could the Luke on Tython scene be similar to the Loth wolves transporting Ezra across the planet? That's interesting, but on a larger scale, it would be cool if we see characters unlock this as a technique from the ancients. That'd be interesting. That'd I like neat. that. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. I'd like that. 
there's another like world between worlds on uh titan hmm yeah i don't know interesting stuff can we just talk about the fact that ray is kylo ren's aunt what no she's not hold on, hold on. no there's no connection there there's no blood connection there no blood connection by the shoes so they so they're so they bang basically the older generation oh, loves beard. the clone wars yeah beard. yeah the older generation loves the clone wars that's what he says that's good i like yep. that maybe one maybe only anakin can re-enter the physical world because he's the chosen one it could be a case of once he re-enters he can't go back to cosmic force hmm. <clears throat> uh no there must be something more to it i think they're just making force ghosts op for the sake of bringing characters back and making them relevant could be could be I'm i love the idea out. of obi-wan being like a uh, a guide and not nothing more mm -hmm. you know um so i would say my jubilation of anakin coming back with swinging his lightsaber is uh well everything's kind of ruined now for me so hey why not yeah, that's fair. I think maybe, like he was saying, maybe it's specific to Anakin. Maybe Anakin can do things other Force Ghosts cannot. And perhaps Luke has access to some of that as well, being his son or something. So could be connected to the... I mean, it's not far off that, you know, when they do become <clears throat> Force Ghosts, they actually are able to, I don't know, perhaps manifest some powers that you can't when you're alive. Yeah. <clears throat> Who knows? Who knows? Only the Oracle. I would die to see a Jedi and Sith army meet on the battlefield. Watching Jedi cl lead clones into battle on Genosis was mind blowing for me. Even now, true, it's true, it's true. I'd That'd be, be nice to well. see. I feel like those days are over unless we go High Republic or something. Mm -hmm. or yeah, or Republic. Yeah. Thirst trap Star Wars theory. Just please give Snoke an interesting backstory. Man, I guess I, I don't know. At this point, I don't know if I, I care, care that anymore. much about no, him. Yeah, I don't care anymore. Yo, I'm JJ more interested in his apprentices, to be honest. The other people he trained are more interesting to me. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. dumb. Thanks, Joe. The Vong should be the villains of the, should have been the villains of the sequels. Thoughts? Yeah, it would have been better. Would have been better. I think would have been better. Yeah. Or just kept it as Snoke, man. Like God, mm -hmm. like he was cool. Yeah. How poetic would Vader leaving Obi-Wan to die on a watery planet be? Just how he left Obi to die on a lava planet and the intense UV rays or what make him age so prematurely. Vader assumes he dies, of course. Mm, it's kind of cool. It's a cool thought. It's like poetry. It rhymes. Mm, I'd say a fire planet is more uh, in, endangering than a, <laughs> than a fire planet. That's true. Uh, do you think they added Ahsoka in Book of Boba Fett's? <laughs> oh, that was a clever one. Maybe one says, I can't intervene because only the Chosen One has the power to alter the physical world. Hints Anakin writes it. No, I, don't, I, I mean, look, I, I think it's weird that they're doing that, but hey, I'm here for it. True. Let's see what happens. True. Why did I lose my voice all of a sudden? Oh. I don't know. Are you going to make it? I don't know. Probably not. Are you going to make it? Probably not. Oh, no. <clears throat> I feel like it was super fake. Will was laughing his ass off after Chris said the joke about his wife. Then, like, a minute later, he gets up and slaps. Uh, two reasons for that, in my opinion. He probably was feeling like he's forced to laugh, mm -hmm. laugh it off. And then he's like, wait, <clears throat> that's just too far. I'm uncomfortable. And then he probably saw his wife's reaction and was like, well, <laughs> I'm going to hear it at home if I don't... Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. I think that he probably maybe instinctually has that Hollywood smile, you know, and then, yeah, like whatever, like he looks over at Jada and probably feels like a real twinge because, yeah, yeah that's probably what happened. I, I definitely don't think it was probably fake. felt like his masculinity was up for grabs at that point if he didn't yeah. do something physical and violent. Yeah, yeah. I agree. What if Yoda defeated Palpatine and Anakin defeated Kenobi? What do you think would have happened in the galaxy? And thanks for what you guys do. Monday is not my favorite day of the week. Nice, Rusty. Thanks, Rusty. Yo, Yoda would have defeated Palpatine and Anakin defeated Kenobi. 
That's crazy. Then you have Anakin versus Yoda. That would have been fun. That would have been pretty compelling. The slap oh was my screaming. god. The person saying Gen Z are all weird kids, so do you have the balls to kill somebody point blank? What? What the fuck? What, dude? Crazy. Let's just talk about Star Wars, shall we? Yeah. You pick the next Star Wars canon story, what would it be? And would it be a show or trilogy from your friendly neighborhood Vengeance in Gotham? Nice, Joe. Um I would say Young Palpatine, man. Young oh, Palpatine would always. be lit. Yeah. Um I mean, look, I'll just throw it out there. Make Boba great again. Fucking do a season two with Boba Fett where he's actually hunting down Mace or something, you know? That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. True. Yeah. yeah. Luke and Milf Soka. Great. That's nice. nice. Looking forward to some steamy Wookiee action in the new Kenobi series. God, I hope so. Jesus Christ, bro. The incessant the, lock like clap. Wait, what? The incessant lock like the clow from it? I have no idea what that means. Is that English? I don't know. <clears throat> Chat, decipher it. Did you guys see the new Cad Bane fan made? I did not. Mm, we saw it pop up though. We saw it pop up. Yeah. Anna Darmas and NC17 Marilyn Monroe. I know, dude. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's a little wild, huh? Bold, bold choice, but I guess you kind of have to. What is NC17 like? Like it means like it's seventeen and up. Yeah, basically, yeah. It's like worse than R. It's like, yeah, it'll be it'll be a very sexual. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Star, Star Wars Titanic is floating back up. What? Huh? I'm not sure what that means, but yes. I agree. Yeah, I guess. 100%. Um, Gen Z are intelligent beings wanting nothing to do with your clown Hollywood Disney Lucas Arts loving ass, lol. I don't think it has anything to do with Gen Z. I think it has to do with uh, just subjective people. So, yeah, man. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking right. Holes. <clears throat> uh, what's your take on Morai being with Ahsoka, like the Holy Spirit in Christianity? I can read Christianity. Oh, uh, crazy to think a Force God's probably watching. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, he like completely made me think it's the opposite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Going yeah. all like spiritual and shit. Rose Tico anthology trilogy. Yeah, absolutely for sure. Dude, hundred percent. I would love. You know what we need is a Rose Tico from the battlefield cooking show. You know. If Frodo happens, that's the only way she can be a legit Skywalker. Oh, jeez. True. True. The excerpt never reveals that Luke knows he's on Exegol. It's frozen, or it's a foreign place to him. I think that's important. Luke knows he's on next call. That's true. And that is interesting. Compelling. Compelling. I'm down. Yeah. Lambo fits when? I don't know. Google him. YouTube him. <laughs> <laughs> Just Google, you douchebag. I don't know. <laughs> Palpy, yo, what's up? From Philly. Let's go birds. Josh, you need to teach theory the ways of the John. How's the guitar going, theory? It's all right, man. It's chilling. I was learning the C chord last night. And uh, that's it. It's a very cool. sad chord. Yeah, I used to say John a lot more. And there's, there's John and John. There's like a whole lingo, man. It's a whole Philly yeah. lingo. First time I ever heard that was in, um, what's that movie? Creed. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Who do you think would win in a fight, Luke or Ahsoka? I think Ahsoka would. That wasn't that clever. <laughs> that wasn't that great. Yo, I Theory, I got the Hayden's signature <laughs> on a saber in Chicago saying, you underestimate my power. Can't wait the order to order a saber from you. Oh, thanks, man. That's cool, man. Yeah, so I contact. So about the saber, I contacted my uh, distributor, the manufacturer. And so I'm actually going to be upgrading it, the whole thing. So we're going to be getting the, this is, has the lowest end uh, motherboard um, chip in it. So we're going to be getting the highest end. Dub. Yeah. Dub. So it's going to be more time for uh, the prototype to come out. Hello from Montreal. I didn't like that Ben comes back from the light and then dies. And he's a Skywalker. And last one standing against Palpatine. True. Neither did I, Daniel. Yep. Neither True. did I, bro. Why did Luke ever ask about Padme? Yeah, why doesn't he ask about his mom? Because he's, he's sexist. Yeah, he probably is. He's that's why pig. they that's why they made him into a bitch boy in the sequels because Kathy was like, you know what I never liked? Yeah. Luke's sexist ass Skywalker. And George right. was like, what? Right. Yep. Can we get a Darth Nihilus video? Uh, what? What? I just thought it was so funny that you had that up there. And, yeah. It's like XQ order 69. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, is that what it said? I, dude, I'm like yeah. reading two chats at the same time. That's why I'm I stalling. I know. You're, you're doing the most. Uh, Wrenchy says, hey, boys, what if Mando season two, we get a flashback of Grogu getting teleported somewhere while sitting on the seeing stone? Love you guys. Yeah, that'd be cool. It'd be interesting. When will Lauren and Callus join? I don't know. We haven't had them in a while. Yeah, maybe like uh, leading up to Kenobi, maybe after Kenobi or something, we could have a big old council meeting. Yeah, it'd be again, fun. You know? Yeah, the Jedi were virgin incels and mad at the Chad Anakin for clapping some sweet avatar cheeks. What it's true, you? dude. <laughs> Yo, it's true though. <laughs> it's true. What like, the, the whole council found out, and they've been like, they were like, dude, I've had blue balls for seventy years. Well, no, they should have been bad at, mad at Kiati Mundi then. He had like four wives and he was permitted. Yeah, that's true. Kiati was a total pimp. Just and I mean, you could just pimp. tell by the look of his head, you know, he's laying it. Yeah, man. Laying that wrinkly old ass pipe. I bet people would like <laughs> suck on his weird forehead. Dude, too. Sorry, y'all. I've been tired, man. It's the move. It's the move. I'm ready, honey. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what are your plans for May 4th? <laughs> I don't know. Just be home. Whew. Just come up with Kiyadi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do some fan fiction. Some fucking Kiyadi. Yo, no wonder he had four wives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man>. oh shit. <laughs> oh man. Kiyadi. Go look at those movies with a whole new light now. Damn. It's like rib too. Yeah. It is. It is. <laughs> it's built for speed. <laughs> Not comfort, you know. <laughs> Whew. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> what if it's revealed <coughs> through flashbacks that in training Obi always bested and provoked Anakin from the high ground? Yo, I thought about that. What if he gets him on the high ground again? I don't know. Yeah, 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 maybe. Yeah, that'd be wild. Oh, Jesus. So, guys, uh, reading NJO book series is Ithor still a viable planet since it was destroyed in EU? Thoughts? Uh, was it Nevada for life? Nah, no, Nerd, Nerd Avenger. Nerd yeah. for life. Is it one of your boys? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, nice, dude. Uh, I I don't know about that planet too much, actually. Is that like oh. a version of Ilum from back in the day? Let's see here. 
Uh, Worst stream for Lady Lurker to watch. Oh, yeah, dude. Mm. So let's see here. Beautiful, pristine, natural will cover forests and jungles. I got I to gotta pee. All right, right on. Uh, mid rhythm of the oldest in Galactic Republic. Oh, it's where the Ithorians are from. The Hammerheads. Yeah, I think that's viable, man. I think it'd be fun. Makes sense. Yo, that Hammerhead dude didn't do Dickie McGee's axe in that show, though, huh? How about that? Like, where did he go? Oh, I guess he gets cut up at the end, doesn't he? Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> you know, you know, hey, hey, look, guys, you know, it was just, it, we're just, we're just jokes. It's just jokes over here. You know what I mean? Everybody relax, you know? Uh, Grant says that I see Venom 2 in theaters. I did. I did. I'm also going to see Morbius, even though all signs point to it being big old doo doo. I am going to go check it out. I am. Monday actually got ahead. Think about it. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's blinker time. <laughs> I don't know about all that. It might be pups time, though. I hear them kind of whining a little bit. I might let them in and see. And see. He still, uh, my man still wants to know the Easter egg thing. I'm sorry, man. I don't, I'm not good at that kind of stuff. Can't think about it. Moon Knight watch parties. Oh, yeah. I'm doing Moon Knight watch parties for all six episodes. Uh, tomorrow will be live probably at like 2 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm so excited for Moon Knight, y'all. I think it's gonna be good. I can't read that B hole. I'm sorry. Bring the doggos out. Yeah, I might, I might in a little bit. All right. Where we at? Where we at? Dominic. Hey guys, I love the work you both do. If you need any Vader episode two extras, theory I live in BC. Josh, you pumped for Doctor Strange too? Thanks, Dominic. Oh, dude, so pumped. Of course, it's gonna be, it's gonna be mind blowing, man. I'm so excited. Christina, huge fan for the channel. Uh, f- huge fan your channel. Just found out that I'll be going on vacation for my birthday to. WD, WDW Galaxy's Edge tomorrow. WDW. What's WDW? Walt well, Disney World. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Do you have any recommendations on what to do there? May the force be with you. May the force be with you too, Christina. Um, congratulations on going. You're gonna have fun. I would say go see the Falcon for sure. Yep, take some pictures Josh, there, been, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go see the Falcon. Go to uh definitely get some blue milk. Mm-hmm. I like the blue milk over the green milk. Uh, it was actually f- nice to drink. It was like a slushy Jolly Rancher milk kind of thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so walk around a little bit, you know, see the vibes, maybe get some food. Uh, if you can, check out some of the, the Jedi robes that they have. And Sith Dude, robes. the Jedi robes are they're sick. Really yeah, nice those, they're really good. Yeah. yeah. I like building the droid too, actually. I, I thought that was pretty fun. Definitely go to the shop. It was a cool part. Get of yourself experience. look good. Look at some cool lightsabers. Look at the mm-hmm. the nice art on the wall. Um, other than that, I don't know. I haven't done Savvy's workshop, but I heard I have cool. not. I have not either. Yeah, I would. I would do it though. But no, I haven't. I uh, oh, like the droid thing though. It was cool. Rise of the Resistance. That was actually a really good ride. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it was really fun. Yep. 100%. Yeah, have fun. Unity, peace, brotherhood, Cain lives. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> finally caught you live. Uh, finally caught you. Y'all love you both. Are awesome. And Theory, you made me a huge Star Wars fan. You are one of my favorite channels. Thank you. Thank you, dude. That means a lot. Right on, d Appreciate that. Yeah. Right on. Hope you're having a good day, man. What are your plans for May fourth? <clears throat> Not sure. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't. I don't even know what my plans are tomorrow. So, yeah, I don't even think that far ahead. I'm right, just uh, let's keep it moving. You know. <laughs> Yo, what I'm boss did you get to breathing. on uh, Elden Ring? I I, just I, haven't, beat, I haven't played uh, Elden in a few days. Yeah, I haven't played in like four or five days. The last that I did beat uh, Gondwin though. The the Elden Ring John boy. I beat him uh 
Yeah, I think this is a guy. The main too. city. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was pretty tough, but got him. Yeah, it was good. Michelle C says, you guys think the Mandalorian will feature, or you hope they will feature any stories involved with Leia's Jedi training by Luke? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I wouldn't mind it, but it seems like they that training ends and they're still like on Endor or something or wherever from Rise. Like she's just not about that life. So Padme, Ahsoka, Anakin, Luke. I don't know, but that's a great stash. That dude had a good mustache. I'll tell you that. Dear, I need some advice regarding Disney lawyers and copyright laws. I sent you a DM on Instagram last week. Please check it out. I love the videos, man. My man, I will not check my DMs because every time I do, I get a new one. So uh, I don't check DMs. And I'm not a lawyer, so I can't give you advice. Yeah, I can't bro. give you legal advice because I don't know actually what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. But I wish you the best of luck with that, man. They're, those, uh, yeah. Hey, Star Wars Theory, first time Super Chat. I noticed while reading Darth Vader comic, Yoda's lightsaber is destroyed, but Luke gives Grogu Yoda's lightsaber. Does this mean he could wedge his lightsaber? <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, yes, man. I have heard season eight is bad since it premiered, but I would like to see it for myself and see what my opinion is on it. You guys are fine. Hey, man, yeah, maybe you'll like it. Maybe. Think See, of Dex the was... worst possible <laughs> that it could happen. And it's just a little bit worse than that. Uh, you say Dex was packing, but what about the thunder from Jabba? Nah, oh. dude. Uh, no. Nah, dude. There's no blood flow because he's so fat. So Jabba's it's like shriveled. You know, it's, just, it's, it's not doing good. Ahsoka show going to be good. Thrawn, Sabine, topless. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I think the blue 66 has my new fave. Also, Josh, I hope your move is going well. I know how stressful that can be. Hope you and Elisa. Is it Elisa or Eliza? Elisa. Elisa. Yeah. Are doing well. Thank you, Em. Yeah, it's been stressful. Um, we're making it work, you know. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. But, yeah, appreciate the thought. Thank you. Got to get it all ready before the, uh, the youngling comes in. Oh, yes. Well, the nur his room looks good, dude. The nursery looks good. It's the rest of the house that's a wreck. So, But, uh, yeah, we definitely got to get it all sorted out. Mm -hmm. Just in my first podcast inspired by you guys, much love. I had a master, I had master Alan and Inquisitor Akula on as my first guest. Would love to talk to you, too, one day. Nice, man. That is awesome, dude. Good for you, bro. Keep going. Keep it going. Keep it up, man. Blow, oh, blow it up to the point where we were begging to be on that podcast. You know what I mean? Hey, Theory, thank you so much for what you do. Uh, for what you do need, Theory, your vids and Theory's <laughs> Arcade have helped me so much. And thanks for putting me on to Josh's YouTube. Thanks, You're welcome, Jacob. Josh. You're welcome, thanks, Josh. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, yeah. Jacob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was a weird one. But yeah. We got there. there. Got through it there. <clears throat> oh, so he didn't put punctuation because I think there's like a character limit. Okay. So he's doing a tweet kind of thing here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love you, Josh. Theory from the. I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> is that like I, why do I feel like, like I'm, I'm gonna get canceled if I say toe? what what it is? I don't know what it is. I don't want I don't even want to say what it is. I don't is know it what the it is. Toe, toe feet pick loving people. No, it's white flag. I'm not even gonna try. It's a trap. I don't know. What is that? <laughs> The yeah, little chat saying letter community from the community ABC community. What is it? The IDK uh, community. Uh, it's a trap. Oh, it's a it's, this is the trans flag. I thought the trans flag was blue and purple. 
I mean, it is kind of blue and purple. How, where do you see purple? The under, beside the white. What? It's like there's like blue, then there's purple, then there's white. What? Are mm-hmm. we seeing something else again? Uh, I don't know. This is what I see. I'll show you. I'll show you right now. I'll tell you that is what I see. I there's too much glare. I can't even see your screen. There. Oh yeah, we're seeing different things again for sure. Are we seeing different things? Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Okay. Why does it do that to me? Right on. Well, thank you either way, Why do you get the... uh, Johnson. And uh, it's crazy that you speak for an entire community, but rock and roll, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Johnson. Appreciate that. How come it doesn't show? How come things don't show up for me? I mean, like change for you? Is it a Kanada thing? Is that a Kanada da, 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 kind of I thing? Don't, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. I updated my graphics card too, so I don't think it's. Uh, There's sure. also is it. Uh, he sees a raccoon. So what? The raccoon thing from last week. Oh. Does this open an avenue for Anakin to still bring balance to the force? I feel like he's already brought balance and they're just. Yeah, but they could play off of that. It could be cool. I'm not against it. A new trilogy make about son of Ben and Ray make him mad at Ray for lying to him turns to the dark side. After he turns, he would be told he's really a Skywalker seeing both sides are bad and becomes the first gray Jedi Skywalker. Mm, dude, I'm down actually. I would love a new interpretation of the Jedi Order. And Ben could be the one to do it. Well, yeah, I mean, how is he going to come back, though? Does it make sense? I mean, I have no idea, dude. I have no idea. Have you watched Thumb Wars? It's like Kung Pao, Enter the Fist, but with thumbs up. And Yes, so uh, Steve Odekirk is my buddy, and I am anticipating his new one that's coming out. Wait. I feel like somebody else has told me about Thumb Wars before, or was it you? I think it was me years ago. All right, right on. I have to check it out. I've heard, I've heard good things. Consider doing a Jabba slave cosplay. No, (laughs) I'm good, thank you. I don't even understand it. Mm. Didn't Palpatine create Anakin by manipulating the forest slash midichlorian? So he's kind of his dad. And his ra- oh, that's where that comes from as far as being Ray's grandfather. So Ray and Kylo are related. I don't know if that's, the, I don't know if that's true. I don't, nope. I don't think so. I don't Man, think I so. Route- so bad it's hard to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> literally turning into Darth Vader. Yeah, dude, you need a ventilator or a big suit that's encapsulated in a big helmet. <laughs> Maybe I'm dying. What if you had to actually do that? I mean, you are, you know, you love Anakin, so. Okay. The next third theory, you're in an actual Vader suit. No, bro, it's just freaking allergies. The allergies can't hurt you if you're in a fully enclosed okay later soon you know yeah. attack of the clones is the best one search your feelings you know this to be true ah oh, man uh attack of the clones, attack of clones. Is... Mm. <laughs> what you don't like that one it's okay there's awesome. some cool parts in it but no nah, i don't i don't Dude, really that was one of the people undermine that one just because there's some like dialogue with padme and anakin but that one is like so freaking juicy man the whole chase on coruscant Anakin's mom, Dooku. Anakin going back to see Watto. Dooku tells Obi Wan that this Lord is literally in charge of all the politics. Yes, yeah, all right. You're crazy. There's a content creator that claims to have heard of leaks of Mace Windu returning in Mando season three and four, but I have not heard of you guys talking about it at all. So it must be fake, right? No, I mean, well, we, I mean, who's the content creator? I we don't give pretty... credibility if something we don't give credibility or not give credibility if we talk or don't talk about something. We're just regular dudes. Yeah, I mean, I like to try to 
do my best, but dude, like we're all just nerds, man. Like, yeah, we don't know. Sometimes I just I get too hyped up about stuff, like, and I'll just believe my own stuff. Uh, there was a reliable person that said there was a rumor or that they were doing something with him, but this was years ago. It's like two years ago. So I don't know. I don't know about that. Hmm. Oh, here we go. For fuck's sake, he doesn't have to like it like you, theory. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. What? Who? Attack of the Clones. Oh, Attack of the Clones. No, yeah, actually, never mind. I agree with you. Bro. Apparently, you have to like it if I like Fuck's it. For fuck's sake, bro. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you Janko that. Armor Shiny. What are your plans for May 4th? That's the third time you've asked. I, I don't know. I'm not doing anything. What are your plans for your next super chat? Darth Plagueis book would make a really good show. Indeed. Indeed. It's an incredible book. Indeed. I have a theory about Kenobi show. I'm guessing that we are not only going to get a depressed and hopeless Kenobi, but a darker version of him, perhaps kind of rageful and bitter. Your guys' thoughts. I would like that actually. I'd be down. But he has to revert back. So he can have that a little bit, but then he has to revert back to be in like chill. Well, he has to go to the hopeful side eventually to turn yes, into Alec Guinness, exactly. unless they just continue the story, you know, in other shows. I pretty got the lightsaber duels and Kenobi's don't suck. Disney, Star Wars hasn't blown me away with any of their duels, and it kind of worries me. Well, just wait, Rico. Hey, Uncle Rico. Hopefully it'll be good. <sighs> yeah, chill chill your butthole out, and I think you're get ready. Do you think they'll touch world between worlds in live action? A hoop nut? Yeah, I hope not either. You built? I hope not either. Do I ever think Luke will old Skywalker Sable handled by Ahsoka? What do you think she uses? No, she, well, that's actually kind of interesting. What is, does she use her old sabers? They look oh, like her old sabers right. to me. The gray ones in live action. Maybe that she retreats. <laughs> I don't something. know if this is an inappropriate one or not. No, I think he's actually being real. Uh, no, she never used Anakin's. I think when he says Anakin's, he means the blue ones that Anakin gives her in season seven of Clone Wars. I don't think so. She's the old Skywalker saber. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Who thinks the I mean, I, at one point, I'm sure she probably used his lightsaber for something. Yeah. In the Clone Wars. To open a letter or something. Who thinks the Inquisitor looked like it? <laughs> mm -hmm, a little bit. <laughs> start nerd theory after dark yeah a little bit time to start nerd theory after dark yeah do you think we should start nerd theory a little sooner uh we can yeah we you know especially if we're going to be going uh you know later or Five whatever hours, yeah do you think yeah, yeah, yeah chat what if we start nerd theory a little bit sooner do you want that or uh... like an hour earlier or something yeah i mean i'm down that'd be cool thanks julian Chat, let me get a poll up here. Josh, you want to read that one? Pull it up. The next fan fiction about Kiati Mundy sounds like it should be on P Hub. <laughs> this is DW Foster. Yeah, I guess so. You know, I like to dance on that line. Sometimes I cross it a little bit. You know what I mean? Sometimes we go a little hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thoughts on the new Lego game? Oh, it looks fantastic. It looks fantastic for sure. Josh, my profile picture is for you. Show me that butthole. Well done, Beagle. Well done. Did Lucas uh, ever make a Kiati Mundi ring toss? <laughs> that would be amazing, though. That would be amazing, dude. Yeah, dude. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? Like, he says like crazy shit when he hit it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like spinning on the top yeah. and then flies off. Yeah. Oh, so close. It's like what they do in their downtime. Yeah. <laughs> can you make a video on mordai i'm re-watching clone wars with a friend who wants to get into star wars i don't know how to fully explain mordai to him <laughs> mordai you mean mordai i'm talking about the blade the little blade that's oh, like that tweety blade basically follows ahsoka now and it's kind of like in i don't want to say in ahsoka but uh oh, God, you guys ruined it yep <laughs> All this weird sexual shit. Y'all never fail to make me laugh. Love you, boys. We love you too, Hannah. Thanks. We love you too. When you played the clip of Luke drinking the green milk, do you think he did the same? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Love your reactions. Do you think we will see C3PO and Kenobi maybe on Alderaan? Here's my favorite character. I'm 3D printing cosplay of him. Oh, cool. You right. should check out my buddy Gordon Tarplay. He's one of the best C3PO cosplayers in the world. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's cool. So check it out. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Full power dark side Anakin versus Palpatine. Oh, wow. Well, Anakin, of course. Yeah. I'd George agree. said he would be 200% more powerful. So. Mm -hmm. Glad the movement went well. Penis Josh. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, also, theory. What? Dot, dot, dot. This felt so sweet. Yeah, thanks, dude. Yeah, the audience is so sweet. Hey, Theory and Josh. Love watching you guys. Super excited for Kenobi. I'm really hoping we get to see Ahsoka's... <laughs> Jesus, bro. <It's> like, <laughs> I'm more disappointed with the lack of Jason Isaacs that the grand, <clears throat> than the Grand Inquisitor's looks. They need to keep the VAs for these guys. Thrawn better be the same guy. Well, Thrawn's yeah, the same guy. Thrawn is supposed to be the same guy, but I'm getting nervous about that, dude. Because, like, why would they change Jason Isaac? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't understand. Like, did they? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I know. I agree. I think they should. I mean, they're doing it with Darth Maul. They use Sam Witwer's voice. They should be yeah. using that. Uh, yeah, it's same, just weird. Same man. thing I going forward. I don't get it. Hey, why do you think Luke was not severely scarred when Sidious used force lightning on him in Return of the Jedi? Maybe Sidious held back as not severely wound Luke so he could be his apprentice. What do you think about that? Do you think, I mean, he? I don't think uh, the Emperor's well, holding back at all. In universe, I mean, there's the answers from the out of, out of universe, probably. Uh, George didn't want Luke to be all scarred up. Yeah, and ugly, yeah. But my thoughts about that is that, well, Palpatine was ramping up the lightning. You know, he was torturing Luke, making a point, and then when it got to him actually wanting to kill him, it's like, and now. Yeah, yeah. You mm -hmm. will die. And then he's like, and it was only really like, what, seven seconds of that? Yeah. I don't think it was enough for uh, Luke to get actu actually deformed. True. True. Yo, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. All right, man. Right. Oh, no. Austin Johnson. Thanks, dude. What do you all think a full power Anakin trilogy would look like? Do you think they'll just bounce around? <laughs> or just continue with Raylo? Uh, full power Anakin trilogy? Well, I don't think it would have anything to do with Ray or sequels or anything. They could do something in between. Ah. Yeah, I guess if he's a ghost, he's... But that just makes it so... That just, like, he can't be full power if he's a ghost. I don't know. It's just weird now, you know? Like, I don't agree with the, with bringing Anakin back, swinging his lightsaber. I'm here for it because it's cool and Anakin's my favorite character. But if the sequels weren't mismanaged, I would be like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> hey, why are you doing this? Casual reminder that to this day, literally nobody has really been far even as decided to use even... All right, thank you, man. Thanks, thanks, Sam. Attack of the Clones is one of the best when it comes to adding to the Star Wars lore. It's packed full of juicy details. Man, you guys with those Ahsoka jokes. Eh? <laughs> you guys really like them, don't you? Eh, Theory After Dark isn't about the time. Oh, geez. That's true. Can you send my son Toby some nerd theory love for his 19th birthday today? The force is strong with him. Love you guys. Yo, happy birthday, Toby. Everybody in chat, if you can wish Toby a happy birthday. Hey, he's turned 19 today. Let's show him some love. Remember when you were 19? I remember. I was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying I was. Been going through a divorce and haven't been able to see my mom, uh, see my son as much as I would have. I six hours building Lego Technic Batmobile. Cool. And listening to you guys. I hope you know how much your show helps. Oh, Dylan, I'm really sorry to hear that you're going through that. Um, I hope you can see your son soon. And I'm glad that our show gives you a bit of an escape along with the Lego uh, build that's well, Lego, you know, doing Lego anytime makes you just kind of put you in a trance, it's always very really relaxing. But uh, I wish you all the best with that, man. That's that's shitty. Back to my new trilogy idea Ben doesn't come back, kiss 
equals child? Lol? An enemy would be a force-sensitive, grievous type thing? I didn't understand any of that. My trilogy idea would be Ben doesn't come back. Oh, there's no kiss. But what do you mean child? Force-sensitive, grievous? I'm very confused by that. Josh, does that make sense to you? Back to my new trilogy idea. Ben doesn't come back. Kiss equal child. An enemy be a force sensitive grievous type thing. I so I don't hate that. The like well, I, don't, I don't understand it. So he's saying that when they kissed, they somehow conceived a child through the force or some something like that. Oh uh yeah. So I actually had a theory that even the hand touching scene. Could have created some kind of force birth within Ray, um, or something like that. So yeah, maybe, um, yeah, could be cool. Yes, force sensitive, yeah. grievous type thing though. That's kind of interesting. What's that about? I don't know. I was confused. Hmm. Is Cal the only Jedi credited with killing Inquisitors? Might he be the only one they are looking for? I like that. I mean, they're definitely want him bad they know yeah. who, if they you know they so know who he is and they want him bad yeah yeah that's cool hey guys big fan from cali i'm personally looking forward to luke getting <laughs> damn hey, thank you thanks, damn. thanks cody damn there, thanks, there was cody. like two of those while you were going oh nice josh do you know joe who's joe i, I need to know who Joe's. would win in a duel of the fates darth theory or emperor josh for theory, Dark one for theory, theory, two for Josh. What? Darth oh. Theory or Emperor in Duel of the Fates? I mean, it would be an epic battle. Previous bro. super chat. Sorry. Well, ah, I was confused. Yeah, I'm confused. confused, Dill. Confused right now. Oh, that's the end. That's the end. We made wow. it. This is like the shortest nerd theory ever. Yep. No, I think, but didn't we have one where like it shut off right <clears> now? <throat> what do you mean? Did we have one that was like an error? We had to restart the stream or no? We've never had that? Oh, yeah. There were a few at the top that it couldn't read because it was just not showing up. It was like... Hey, oh, no, no, no. I meant like, have we ever started a stream and then it just shut off? No? I've had that happen before where I had to do like a two-minute stream and restart it. Oh, no. No. <clears throat> I don't think so. That's good. No, oh, did. Joe Mama. Well done. White out. Oh, okay. No. Uh -huh. um, uh, broomstick kid becomes Grogu's first student. Be kind of fun. I like no. Broom boy. Let's do it. I saw a leak where Luke. God damn. It. Yeah. Yeah, they're out for it. They out there for it. Stop sending super chests. We want to go home. I saw a leak where Luke put his. It's the same one. Yeah, no. I read that one. Oh my god! No. Yo, James. We we. we back, I think we I said it was a that, cool man. idea. You can look back. I thought it was a cool idea. You missed, missed mine. mine. I just asked Skyrim playthrough. Oh, sorry. Uh, dude, yeah, I was doing a Skyrim playthrough on the gaming channel, and then I got sidetracked as usual. Did you ever do it in VR? Didn't no. Mark say that like it's pretty dope in VR? Probably is. I, I yeah. am not. Yeah. Yeah. I'd check it out. Thank you, Austin, for the 10 bucks. We appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Elizabeth, <clears throat> thank you for the $2. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Dylan says, thanks, Theory. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks, Dylan. Yeah, we thank you for that. You sexy thing. You sexy thing, you. What do think of Anakin appearing meant? Bro, you just missed the last three and a half hours. Yeah, we, we, we <laughs> went into that in pretty great detail. Wait, Josh, you didn't get to say happy birthday to my son, Toby. You were having acidic diarrhea. <laughs> oh, my bad. Uh, and also, happy birthday, Toby. Happy Did you birthday. save him a sample? Uh, no, no, we uh, no, we don't, we don't do that anymore. You know, oh, we we sold it sold it uh, along with bathwater, and uh, yeah, just didn't Jesus. go well. The lawsuits were a little, yeah. How do I send you five fifty thousand dollars of support for your movie? Um, you can send a hundred thousand dollars worth of super chats. Straight cash. Thirty percent will get taken by YouTube, and then another. Something percent by taxes. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know if there's a clear way for you to even do that, right? Because you're not allowed to get, you're not allowed to make money. Although I suppose if it's just going to cost, 
Maybe that would. Oh, hurt. you can you can donate to me as a person. It doesn't yes, have to be that's what movie. I mean. You can, yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can mm-hmm. be like, hey man, I want to buy you gas. Yep. With totally. today's gas prices, hey man, I I want to uh, buy your dog a treat and then just mm-hmm. give fifty grand. Yeah, that works. That's fine. Yeah, it's a lot of treats. It's a lot of treats, bro. But hey, dogs got to get them treats. But man. um, no, man. I mean, I mean, that's very generous of you. I appreciate it, but. Don't worry, I'm I'm gonna pay for the whole thing myself, and you guys can just support by uh, the way you've been doing all along. So thank you, you know, we appreciate everything. You can you do. Smash that Liz like on that vid too. How many vids uh, likes does your fan film uh, have? I don't know. It's got to be millions. Let's see. You think? Yeah. Well, it's got how many views does it have? Does it, doesn't it like? Isn't it like in the twenties, twenty millions? Or something? Yeah, I think it was like twenty five. <clears throat> uh, where is it? Why is it not popping so, up? So I mean, by like regular logic, you're five to ten, probably five to ten thousand. Twenty five mil. Oh shit! Yeah, a million likes. Wow, that's crazy to see. That's crazy. Yeah, that's sweet. One M. That's cool. An M of ninety six thousand comments. What? Yeah, that's absurd. Yeah, that's crazy. Comments. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, cool. Well, I'm glad people liked it. Nice. Well, at least some people did. Uh, I reckon million people. Second one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good, man. I'm excited to uh, see that next one for sure, man. Oh, that one was pretty clever. Oh, uh, thanks, Cody. Thank you, Cody. Appreciate you, man. Thoughts on new Lego Star Wars? Can't wait to play it. I don't know if I'm. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna play it. But... Oh, I'm gonna be streaming the hell out of that on the channel. Well, we all check some of that out, you know, because I I do want to see some of it. But uh, yeah, Lego games just never been my thing. I know people love them, but fair enough. Much love from Michigan. Catch you guys next week. We'll catch you next week, man. Thanks, Ethan. Yeah, see you, man. Thanks, Ewok Chief. Vito, if Will Smith got this mad in March, imagine how mad he is in August. Yo, yo, who, who, uh, is shit, nice. August? who is this August? Who is this August? So it's like a music thing. artist person. Uh, I don't know too much about him other than that he and Jada had a thing. So at, at, at one point, and this was like the whole meme was like. Oh, is that the guy she had the entanglement with? Yes, the entanglement. Yes, oh, August oh. is the entanglement, dude. Yeah, and like I don't know what all that was that's about. Not his, that's not his fault, man. That's, that's, that's uh, her choice, you know? Yeah, but I, the way I understand it, like. And look, I could be, I don't know, all this shit's rumor, but I have heard he was with what's her face, anyways, Margot Robbie during that whole time. What? Well, because he was, uh, they were both, they were not like it was borderline, they were separated, right? So I don't even think it was open. I don't think they were open. I think that they were separated at that time. Oh, okay. And so they were probably, whatever, man. I, I don't really, I don't there. even, I don't like talking about people's personal lives and shit. I just think it's whatever. But yeah. No, I mean, look, it's it's Whatever. funny. <clears throat> hey, so I sent a bunch of, I sent a bunch, and phone wouldn't work right, lol. But as a Star Wars person who loves strength training, what would you do for grip and forearm? Uh, like I rip decks of cards and books and many wrist rolls. Oh, that's what? sick. That's crazy. I, I can't Just rip, rip decks, decks of cards. That's yeah, wild. That's nice. Hmm. Uh, grip strength. Okay, yo. So these they're called Captains of Crush. And like I have one that goes up to 300 pounds, and I, I can't even move that one, but this one is 200. So just start on this and then be able to close it and open it, do this like a bunch of times every day. And then I have another one that's I think 240, and that one's pretty tough. Yeah, but um, wow. this is great for your grip. Um, and you can just do it, it's like a good stress reliever, too. So yeah, yeah. Uh, there's that, and then there's uh, trying to hold like a, a plate with your. Just different things you can do. Brian Shaw has like a whole method about it if you want to check it out. Mm. But uh, yeah, that's that's. I really like doing these. These are they're fun. We used to take uh, newspapers and like crinkle them up like that with one hand. But it's for martial arts. But it's the same concept. Like yeah. it was for our fists or whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can also do deadlifting like. without straps. Yeah. Don't do that. Six hundred pounds though, dude. You look like a grape. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty fat back then too. So. Oh well, just yeah. looked like you were gonna. Die. I was like twenty pounds heavier. You look like Vader. How do you feel home. about Darth Nihilus? He's fine. Sorry, them. 
Darth Nihilus is cool. I like Darth Nihilus. Will Smith reminded me of Joaquin Phoenix and Joker when he shoots dude on live TV. It was, a, I mean, obviously, that's not, not but bad. it was pretty wild. It's one of the wildest things I've seen on happen on live TV, maybe ever. All right. Luminar and Dooley and Kenobi. Mm, thanks, Joshua. Why do you have a blank green screen? Wait, what? I never flipped it on this whole time? Oh my god, dude, it's so embarrassing. No, it's because I'm it's because we moved. Uh the, the office isn't fully set up. Elden Ring since Nerd Theory ending early. Uh maybe. Shit, I might try to get some. Maybe. But yeah, we'll catch you guys next week. We hope you had fun tonight. This was a bit of a shorter one, three hours and twenty minutes. And Clock. Uh, yeah, we love you guys. We really appreciate you. We're glad you like the show as much as we do. And um, you know, you're the reason you guys are around. So yeah, man. You're, you're, wait, what did I say? You're the reason we are around? Did I say you're the Thank reason you. you guys are around? I think you said you're the reason we guys, you are around. <laughs> but the thing it's is, I agree. Hey. I agree. Yeah, me too. Okay, well, we love you. We'll catch you later. Have a great day. Leave a like. Suck your butt. And you're sounding like a separatist.